Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Ra. So I'm trying to recall exactly where we were. We went past the festival. We went into the cave. I don't think we did too much beyond that. How am I doing today? I'm doing okay-ish. I'm still feeling a little tired due to a uh, long work day yesterday. So I think we were told to go to a specific destination on the other side of the cave. But we haven't really done too much with that, if I recall correctly. So we're going to boot up and see how accurate that recollection is. Let's go ahead and pause the complete soundtrack. I'm sure we'll be hearing that battle theme over and over. So no worries about that one. So yeah, I think we were just exploring the western side. I believe we visited a town. I believe I had to go to the ruins to the north, if I recall specifically. So we were being informed that's where the guardians were. And we saw there's also like a pyramid thing much further to the north. But I think from the standpoint of what we're doing, we don't need to worry about that right now. Hopefully your morning is going well, Rob. Yeah, remember I was trying to find the tavern last time. <laughs> that I specifically remember. I was just trying to think about the plot. I think we should be good. Well, that dog is more powerful than we are, apparently. Hmm. So then after that, we went through the trial. Okay, so from here, I think we have some open-ended things. That's right, we did complete the trial the last time. There is the pyramid if I want to go to it. Um, oh, I don't remember this place at all. Let's go see what this is. Didn't realize this game was 2D. It's a mix of 2D and 3D. Please don't make me fight them. I love the giant summoning circle, and there's just nothing I could do with it currently. Well, I'll have to remember this is here. What is this place? Mount Xenom. Uh, I think I have to go here next. Although, do I want... Uh, I should go check out the pyramid, actually. Let's go check out the pyramid and then come back to Mount Xenom. I'm just curious if we're allowed to actually do anything here. Yeah, look at that, Rob. Ooh, 3D rotation. <laughs> Offer the chism fire to the furnace hidden in the water flow. Life shall dance in the sky and connect the lands. Oh. So, okay. So this is a little different than the other pyramid we're in. I'm actually able to do something here, potentially. The font is so, like, retro game looking. It's fitting certainly something. Yeah, I'm not sure if you saw last time, Rob. There's even a screensaver. Maybe at the end of the stream, I'll turn on the screensaver. I mean, we'll just watch it bounce around or do whatever, whatever this is. Like, I, I can't remember the last time I saw these kinds of choices. So if you like pixel art, Rob, apparently you can design every single portion of the border you're seeing, by the way. So I, I do not feel I am a good pixel artist, but if you're for people that want to do it, you can literally select a segment that you're looking to do and draw in whatever you want it to be. It's probably the most involved menu I've seen in a long time. Normally you just pick from like different templates, but to let you actually draw that. <laughs> yeah, I can't recall many games that have done that. Well, yeah, I would imagine in an online setting, you can't let people draw what they want. 
That is a lot of enemies. Um, I guess I'll do this fight to see what kind of XP they give. I think I'm just gonna do... Probably gonna do Kirk in general. Oh no no, Kirk plus plus is all of them. Never mind, I want Kirk plus plus. Please kill them. Good, okay. This should be GG. Yeah, that was an absolute obliteration. How much XP is this worth? 210? I know it wasn't worth it. I mean, it brought me closer to leveling, but whatever. I, at least I have MP resources if I really need to restore later. We'll continue forward for now and see if they let me pass now that I've talked to the people in the village. Zephyr's messenger says, I believe you will be victorious. Okay, so now he leaves. So we have one statue not glowing. Strange device binds the door, so presumably I'm just looking to mirror it. So I just move it up a little bit. Maybe... Do I need to move it over, or where is it going to line up correctly? Okay, I don't need to move it over. Up the stairs we go. Hmm. Okay, so there are random encounters here, which is to be expected, but what are they is the question. Hobgoblin. I'm just gonna melee to save some MP. I'll take the HP loss. And no, Rom, I have no idea why the Hobgoblins make cat noises. I'm very confused. Take that Hobcatlin thing. What? <laughs> like, what sound effects? Anyway, this thing should die without me needing to use MP. It's so sad how little damage she does. I might just tell her to block going forward. Yeah, her counterattack's gonna do zero. She was at least doing damage on the outside, but inside, they're too tanky now. Somehow that was enough to level me. So there's like a million treasure chests somewhere. Boldy has been redeemed. There's a chest here. That's a heal berry. Uh, I don't think I need it yet. Also, I just realized she was at 80 MP. Wow, that's kind of insane. Let's get that treasure chest that thinks it's being sneaky. Lucky card acquired. Is that the doubling of XP? And money. Okay. Oh, I really don't want to do this fight. Can we... Maybe Sonic Buster them out of existence? I want to save her MP for something better. This is the exact thing I wanted to not have happen. Of course. Disease is honestly the worst status ailment I've ever seen. Please just target her and don't spread it out. Oh, of course. Worst enemy. Many other playable characters achieve you. The monsters are just normal places and JRPG monsters, something like that. So, chat, we're already down to medicine. And for those not aware of what that, why that's important, as long as I'm diseased, I can't heal. So I'm just, I'm just like ultra dead if that ever lingers on me. And if I'm at a boss, it's basically GG if I can't get rid of it. I'm assuming circlet. Oh, sorry, I thought I just had the girl selected. I'm assuming the circlet is for her. Oh, it just nullifies paralysis. Okay, I have one nullified disease. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking about it right now. Yeah, let's give her immunity to that, maybe. The other characters at least have a dodge chance with their other items, so I'll leave it on for now because it's more generically useful. Yeah, I don't want to do this fine. Yeah, I always love in, like, the Final Fantasy games, your character is, like, super small, and then you have, like, a, a normal soldier, and they're, like, four times your height. So they're, like, the ultra-detailed portraits. Always love that. Uh... 
What do you want me to do here? Let's check out our tools. I'm assuming you don't want me to bomb. Just immediately get attacked before I can see what it does. I wasn't going to take this fight, but it is a preemptive strike, so I might as well do it. Ooh. 200 is a not enough to kill. I thought I could kill a mushroom real quick. So if Cowboy attack this one, you attack this one, you maybe finish this one? Please crit. Oh, he didn't crit. Unfortunate. If she crit there, we would have been fine, I think. Yep. If she crit, that would have killed. Oh, GG. GG the mushroom. It made a big mistake. Makes sense, FF, because the monster sprites weren't animated, but the sprite sprites weren't. No such distinction in this game, though. Something like that. So, I don't have anything to climb this. Do I need... I mean, could I light it on fire? Oh, it's not... Oh. I misunderstood what that graphic was. I thought it was like a... You know how like when you when you see like the cliffside and the vines cascade down? I thought that's what we were looking at. I didn't realize it was just bush. Like it was a big bush in front of me. And yeah, that makes more sense, I guess. I still argue that uh, Bomb absolutely should have worked on this. I was thinking it was hiding like a door just for clarity earlier. Not that it was just blocking the path itself. Uh, let's see, there's two choices here. Oh, just... Please don't. Please don't make me fight. This is the only enemy I don't want to fight, chat. I just want to be very clear. Like, that one is a absolute no-go with me. Okay, I'm glad I went back up here to check. Secret sign attained. What is secret sign? Consume one less MP fast draw. Oh, I can make something cost less permanently? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I might hold that for a little bit. I don't need it right this moment. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what my next upgrade is. Weapon, oh, please stop giving me this encounter. I'm kind of curious what my next weapon skill is. I'll put it on the AOE if I don't get any within like a boss or two. Or you know what, actually I might as well just do it now. I don't see myself using Psycho Crack very often, except on bosses. And I feel like I'm gonna get way stronger boss moves later. So I'd rather have a cheap AoE if it's between these. Uh, so I could go up or down. I'm gonna see what feels like progress. We're at the point where I think I don't need any more XP for the boss. Change the vice binds the doors. Okay, so there's some kind of puzzle stopping me from going here. But I didn't see anything to interact with, necessarily. It's possible I have to touch the torches, but let's check the bottom side in case I need to do something down there. Yeah, that'll give me one more AoE here. I would have preferred it on the girl, honestly. Oh, let's just move it over one. What a puzzle. <laughs> Punished. Well, as long as they don't have disease, I guess it's okay. Okay, now that I've counterattacked, I might as well take the attack rather than try again. Please counterattack, thank you. So I'm going to say Cowboy should hit this one. Hunter should hit this one. She should hit this one. 
I'm gonna save his MP for a harder set of enemies. Like, if we get Heartbeat again, I'd need the MP for that. Ooh, not doing quite enough damage. They must have about two four, 250. I think they have 250 HP, given that I didn't kill anything just then. Yeah. You realize the girl's name was Girl. Oh yeah, Chad, Chad helped name all the characters. So you could have named the characters, Rob. The game refers to her as, quote, the innocent one, end quote. That XP was also pretty terrible. So I would need upwards of nine encounters to level. So yeah, I feel like I'm definitely overleveled, even though I've been trying not to fight many things, the chat has seen. More importantly, it's girl with the girl symbol. Please let me run. Please don't make me take this fight. We ran fine earlier. I must have bad luck. Oh, is that confused? That could be really bad for us, actually, if Hunter attacks. I think he could probably kill Girl if he needs to. I'm gonna say run, and hopefully this time it works. Yeah. In case there's a boss coming up, I'm just gonna briefly heal. One. Oh, because he's confused. He messes with my controls outside of combat. Oh my gosh, game, please. Oh, that's irritating. I realize it lingered outside of combat. I don't know if it was as horrible as Terra Enigma's, where it randomized it like every 12 seconds, but it was definitely doing some weird things with the controls. That I can confirm. Um, I think I'm gonna use this cheaper AoE to hopefully kill this. Yeah. Oh, it does so much less damage. That's bad. I was hoping it would do more than his regular attack. Oh, she just straight up got counterattacked. That's bad then. I would have... I If I thought it was going to do less than a normal strike, I would have done a different attack there. That really sucks. I think I'm just going to have him normal melee. I'm going to have her guard, actually. Her damage is terrible in this cave. Brutal attack was pretty tame, I'm not gonna lie. I will take brutal attack over 90% of the status ailments in this game, for sure. So yeah, I'll probably put them back on auto control in a little bit. I think right now, they're doing okay. So I, I with 260, at least I can afford all the healing I'm about to use. That's how I kind of rationalize what we're doing here. See, it seems like there should be something to do here, because there's, like, torches here. Encounter rate, please. I don't think there should be big downsides. Even if I fail to run here, it shouldn't matter. Speaking of which, what is our luck at? Best luck. Okay. Just burn everything, regardless if it's needed. Bonk. Hmm. So... For those that haven't seen it before... Those are all booby-trapped. The game really wants to make sure I have healing items. Yeah, I'm not falling. Oh, wait, I got booted off? Phew, that was close. 
I couldn't control my body for a second there. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. We hit one of those rocks for goners. So if I use my sword from higher up, it will always do more damage? Well, I wouldn't say always, but it wouldn't hurt. Maybe it's worth a try. Astral hint acquired. Okay, so the game taught me a new move that costs the same as Sonic Buster. Hint from a falling rock. Okay, well... I'm assuming it's a single target move, which is exactly why I said I probably don't want to put it on Psycho Crack. But I think an AoE here being cheaper is still fine. Only Metal does a Guardian Server Metal. Doesn't do anything. Oh, that's right, we had to hold it up in the other place. Um... We have a million flowers if we want to correct our luck score. I don't feel like we're at a boss yet, though. Yeah, the load time in this game is, like, ultra fast in general. You know what? Let's put them on auto. I still don't know how all out and balanced combine equals something. I, I don't know what that means. By definition, they sh that, that doesn't mean anything to me. I'll put them all in reserve. I don't really want them... See, the thing is, like, I don't mind them using force. I just don't want them to use fast draw more specifically. And I don't want her to use MP. I contemplate putting her on defense, but I think for now this is fine. Alright, so we are doing enough damage to one shot, which is good. ADA damage is actually pretty high there. That's probably going to result in a kill. Yeah. Bonk. And that was enough to level, which is good. So sadly, levels don't full restore HP or MP. It just raises it by however much we get. But it's not a full restore. Ocean Berry acquired. So it looks like potentially a shortcut or something above us. I have another boss healing item, which is nice. Away, says all the enemies. Welcome, Calvisham. I could probably just take manual control of the girl, maybe, because she does no damage, unless she crits. Which is what I was hoping for before. So apparently if I let the AI play, they get the crits. If I play, I never get any crits. Okay, I see how it is. You're all witnesses, chat. <laughs> I think it was the first crit of the entire session. Anyway, that'll speed things up. How much cash am I at, by the way? I don't recall. 3,000? That's not bad. Everything burns, Sean. I don't think there's any hidden items here. I haven't been looking super, super carefully. I'm just burning them for the sake of burning them. So in case I have to backtrack later, I can just dash through this. Oh. Well, it was good that I've been burning things randomly. Uh, I think I'm gonna run this. Grinding, grinding is much slower than just burning it for two seconds for sure. Grinding is like 40, 50 seconds of battle. I'm like, no thank you. Three seconds. And also I needed to do that there. It wasn't too bad. Um, There's two doors I could take. Which do I think leads to items? There's a left and a right. Uh, if it looks like... Oh, what are you? Devo Nova. Hmm... I should probably take manual control of her and then just have her block. Nice crit. So 
I think that was a good call, because there's no way she's doing damage to this thing. is pretty high for damage and again now they're just critting like crazy now why don't we even bother manually controlling them <laughs> they crit so many more times than i do it's kind of unfair speaking of which so they're not targeting the girl oh counterattack might kill here maybe no not quite all right let's use a healing item then on him so he doesn't die Nice counter-attack. Please die. How tanky is this thing? Holy, I was expecting it to be like six attacks max. I mean, at least it gave me a lot of money, so it was kind of worth it. Ooh, that feels like progress. Hold on, chat. That feels too much like progress. What is, what is this way? Oh no, both of them feel like progress. This isn't fair. I just need to know where the items are. Oh, ambush. That's not fair, chat. Both of them feel like they are progress. Though this makes me solve a puzzle. Yeah, because the items so far have actually been pretty good. So it is actually, it feels mostly worth going for items. Okay, I'm gonna make a call that if I have to do a statue puzzle, that that's probably the way I have to go. And the staircase, even though that feels like that's progress, is not progress. I don't like that we found a save point here. I really don't like that we found a save point here. Well, I'm gonna save here. <laughs> Look how under leveled she is. Chat, she is so far behind the rest of the party. Holy. Uh, 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 don't, don't mystic seal me. I just turned around in place. Get out of here. Well, I guess I'm going back the other way. The worst thing that happens, I now have a save point to go back to. Preemptive strike. How about no? I, I was going to say, if I failed a run on a preemptive strike, I was going to lose my mind. Well, fine. I'll do your little puzzle. No, please. I'm going to try to run again. I don't think this enemy is worth fighting from an XP gold standpoint. The problem now is I have to wait through these animations. It is so punishing when you don't run in this game compared to other games because of how slow their animations are. Alright, if I crit one if I counterattack one more time, I would have done the fight. But I don't want the XP. don't get why these puzzles are here, to be honest. It feels more like busy work than actual puzzles. You've got to be kidding me. I was about to touch the chest. Yeah, it's not even like a sliding puzzle. Can I please stop fighting these? Thank you. Mystic word acquired. So is this for the girl? Magic. Oh, it's a magic book for the left hand. Oh, so it's just straight up... <laughs> It's just straight up possibly a weapon for her. No? Oh, I can give up my resistance to disease for more damage. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. We're probably coming up to a boss battle. Yeah, her being able to nuke a boss is kind of nice. It also gives magic resistance, which also helps with their survivability versus bosses. So I think that's just kind of win-win for me. So it's not even like I'm choosing between defense and offense. Like, I'm getting both. Alright, so now that we have that item, let's continue. <laughs> a 
<laughs> love that level difference. So their attack powers are pretty similar. So he's a 9% chance of parry, 5% chance of parry. She's a 4%. It's better than nothing, I guess. Let me have him eat a couple flowers to fix his luck score. I'm gonna save with max luck. I feel like influencing his crit chance slash my ability to retreat between now and the boss is more important than keeping him at bad luck. We bought those flowers for that explicit reason anyway. Okay. <sighs> this looks like a really easy encounter. Fine, I'll do the fight. Hmm, the girl didn't crit when I needed her to crit. That's so sad. At least I counterattacked there. That kind of evened it up. I love how the AI has like all these. What? <laughs> do you see what I mean? How does the AI always get the crits? Where are my crits? I did the damage calculations. If she crit there, it would have killed. Alright, so we got new HP and MP totals. Truly a puzzle of the ages, chat. However will I solve this head scratcher? Oh. We're gonna fight... Presumably Godzilla there. Is there anything else I want to do here? How's my luck looking? Everybody's basically at best luck. You know what? I don't need the girl's luck to be higher. Listen, I'm never critting with her. We're just going to live with that. So I have magic carrots in case I need to restore MP, which I don't think I need to. Yeah, like I could in theory give it to the hunter, but I'd rather wait. Is this the statue of the... The god of the seal? <laughs> Chat would have used the god on, on that one. Most complex, genius level intellect required. You're right. It's too late. We undid the... Says Belsa. Although, I don't really like how his name sounds now that I say it out loud. Belselk. Hmm. Belselk. So, you got here before me. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Orga Widow, go play with them. Yeah, pretty much. Hello, spider. Hmm. I probably want to take manual control of each of the characters for a little bit. Oh yeah, I got a new force technique. Summon Guardian into battle. Okay. I'll have to see what that's all about. I'm still going to take the shot here, I think, no matter what. What's my other one? Oh, all of them have Summon Guardian as their other one? Interesting. I still don't know what Mystic does. We have yet to use it. Let's, 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 uh, let's tell him he's wide open. It paralyzed almost the entire party. Wow. Seriously? And I missed the gunshot with like a 90% chance of hitting, by the way. Do we just game over if I get paralyzed? I'm curious. I mean, if all of it's if if all it is going to do is that, I'll just attack it. It wears off at some point, right? Some of the Guardian. I just tigered him in the face. That did no damage! <laughs> that was so sad! Are you telling me, like, this thing I have to build up to does less than a normal attack? That is so garbage. Wild arms, please. 
Paralysis wears off at some point, right? Right? Am I just am I just instantly dead because it doesn't wear off? I can counterattack apparently. So they built up so much meter that he cured himself. I don't think the status ailment ever goes away. That's kind of a problem. I really don't like status ailments in this game compared to other games. So fortunately he can counterattack. Yeah, that's a big oh boy. See, she hasn't broken free yet. That's super bad. Um, I guess I'll increase my speed. Which doesn't take up my full turn, interestingly. Um... Uh -oh. we may be what do I do about this? Do I even have that many cure paralysis? I don't think I do. Eight? Sucks. Oh, they condition greened. But see, like... Calvisha, if, if it takes so long that they condition green, I don't think that's the status ailment curing, just for clarity. That's them hitting max force, which is not quite the same thing. I'm gonna do this so that way I can get out of it faster. Use accelerator again. I'm gonna do this. And I don't even think I got to use wide open because it just instantly got interrupted last time. No, there's- you don't get spells via grinding in this game, Rom. You get it through spell combos. Okay, that time it worked. So this should do some big damage. I mean, the fact that that lasted like five or six turns, Calvisha, means I would just die if that happens again. If that happens again, I guarantee I'm gonna lose a character. Ooh, that's big damage. Which is pretty stupid, be real with you. Like, the fact that they went from zero force and they only got out because of condition green, it's, like, not not good. I don't know why they did it like that. Um... I guess I could mystic a healing item. Oh, so it turns into an AoE heal. Okay, that's not bad then. So this is the first time we've used mystic ever in combat. Does it also heal 200? Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm actually able to do something. Let's do another lock on, because I keep missing it. Oh, excuse me, it was 89%. I missed an 89%. Uh, I guess I'll Daver in the face and see what happens. Oh, uh, that did some big damage. Okay. D Dave's putting in the work chat. 420 damage is a lot of damage. So I think we're going to have her Dave repeatedly. Yeah, it, she's competing with the other characters and she's got way less resources to worry about. Uh, I'll go for the lock on here. I was not impressed with the summon guardian. I think I'm going to accelerate a normal strike. And then I think what I'm going to do is Dave the boss again in the face. I'm doing this just so I can cycle condition green easier. Yeah, Dave, Dave is putting in the work. I don't seem to have a reason to swap out given how much damage it's doing. And if Rob is curious, yes, Chad also named the spells for the most part. Okay, so he should recover in time. I'm not going to worry about him. Let's Mystic. What's a Moonstone? Oh, Nullifies Poison. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Oh, I can recover everybody's MP. That's actually kind of interesting. Maybe I'll do this. Seems like a more effective use of the Magic Carrot. Oh, the boss is dead. Never mind. I don't even need to do that, apparently. That's actually a pretty quick boss battle. The only reason it even took that many turns in general was mostly because I lost like six attack turns. So this, this that would have been much faster. Also, the boss only gave me 300 XP. That's it. 
Why was the boss giving as much XP as a normal encounter? That's pretty terrible. Chan, I don't approve. That is quite garbage. The power inside grows weak. The seal cannot provide me with a link to the girl. Welcome in Parameter. Hope you're doing well. Summit room acquired. The statue of the God Seal has been broken. The return of Mother is becoming a reality. I can't believe the teardrop is being used for such horrors. There are two more statues left. We must defend them. Give me the power. The power I need to defeat them. The power to destroy everything! Are, are we not going to comment about his little rant there? See, I even have it outside of combat. This is just nonsense. What a nonsense status ailment. Okay, what does the summit room do? It just makes me tankier. I mean, I don't know about you, chat. I don't care about defense runes in this game so far. Just like, whatever. Not relevant in our playthrough. Yeah, don't forget to use the power. All capitals and then in the brackets. Horribly desecrated statue of Tinaginos. Oh, are you straight up going to make me walk out of here? Yeah, I don't think so. We're going to eke out of here. Do you have anything to say, guy, that we let down? You believe we'll be victorious? Just now, I felt the seal holding the queen of the demons break. Messenger of Zephyr, please notify the elders of the situation. We must act quickly. Yeah, can you imagine, chat? We would have had to have backtracked through that whole dungeon. Oh, meanwhile, in the enemy fortress. Mother says, it's dark. And see. I can't hear anything. My precious Zelk. Where's it, Zeke? Might be an eye. My children, let me see you. Let me hear you. Is this Final Fantasy VII? Maybe. That was easy. All this talk about seals. Who cares about the Quarter Knights? Now that Mother is awake, I could go on with my career. Glory's up ahead. Oh, Mother's hatching. Bonk. Uh, yeah, there's nothing over here. Just making sure I didn't miss something to the southwest. Or, like, something over here. Oh, there is a sign over here. I don't think we checked that out last time. So, yeah, I am super not thrilled. I guess on the overworld it eventually wore off, which is good, but it did not wear off very quickly at all in the main area. This should be GG. And we can use this because I lowered the MP cost. So in theory, if I want to use my MP restore, I guess it's more effective for me to purposely stall in a battle. That one mushroom got absolutely wrecked. So it's more effective to stall until I get Mystic on the girl, because then I give MP to everybody. So that's kind of interesting. Hunter is leveled. Yeah, what does the sign say? Here sleeps an enigma, far, far off in the outskirts of Philgaia. Okay. Well, I'm assuming I gotta do something with this later. Hmm. Well, back to the village, I guess. We should probably rest up. And then I'll buy some basic items. There we go. Gotta destroy the crates out of spite. Are you truly playing a JRPG? <laughs> Unless you destroy everything and steal everything. Yes. Oh, you're not even going to require me to spend money for the inn. That's actually super good. Indeed, big dog. Oh, you just light things on fire randomly. Yeah, yeah, the people are at peace with nature, yada yada. Where was the merchant? Hmm.
No, I don't see what I'm looking for. That's fine. We'll we'll find it later. I don't like super need it. I just wanted to restock some general items, but it's like not mandatory. Yes, I would like to reload the ammo. Okay, we'll continue for now. At least I got my ammo restored. Vasker Chief says, I can feel the seal has been broken. The demons are one step ahead of us. Do not be alarmed. There are two other seals which have not been broken. The other two statues are located at Saint Centaur. Saint Centaur, what a name, and Port Timney. We'd have just, if we could save just one of those, then we could prevent the queen from reviving. Only your brave party can accomplish this mission. You must use the L pyramids, for they are the links to the guardians. You usually find the pyramids in the same area the statues are kept. It's said that all life can become energy and be transported to faraway places through the use of L technology. Ah, uh, the warp system of the game, got it. Warriors of the Guardians, please take this gift, the Kazim Fire of Baskar. You can use this to light the furnace in the pyramid. For the good of all life of Gaia. please protect the remaining statues. So who is Kazim Fire? Oh, it's just in my general inventory. What if I just use it here? Oh, we just got a bonk. There we go, dog noises for the chant. Yeah, so now we're allowed to warp around with the pyramid now that we have the item that they referenced in the previous pyramid. Let's check our levels out real quick. <laughs> She's still behind. She's getting closer at least. Bonk. I don't know why the dog makes that sound. There you go, extra barks for the chant. Hunzo Arf. Is there anything beyond the pyramid? Okay, there's nothing beyond it. I just want to make sure if there's like some optional areas, we try to take them. This is getting interesting. Chad has been showing the dog. So presumably we stand on the warp point and then we go back to the other continent. Oh. Where if okay, you didn't want me to use it in that room. Where do you want me to use this? Hidden in the water flow. Ah, uh, there's another path down here. There we go. The Kazim fire has been lit. The L pyramid is filling with strange energy. Bonk. Well, I'm saying you'd be stuck at that dog for two hours. Yeah, they all make different noises. Some of them make sense, some of them don't. Um. <laughs> oh, I, was about, I was about to say, we're coming back down, right? Oh, yeah, chat. Well, fortunately, that thing in the sky has not been destroyed, or else we would just go as a beam of light and die somewhere. Stoldark says, This land contains the holy statue, which seals the evil heart. Thanks. Oh, I didn't mean to step on that again. Damn it. That kind of sucks if you go up there. There wasn't anywhere else to go. I was hoping there'd be a confirmation button, but alas, there was not. Good old time Western space lasers. Definitely, for sure. Well, enjoy this animation again. I thought we had to hit a button to activate. It's just position-based. There we go. So apparently, commit to a direction or else get teleported. That's what I've learned. So I'm just going to hold down and we should be fine this time. So I imagine we're back on the first continent, but I guess it's possible we're on a different place that also is a pyramid. There we go. Hmm. There is an item over there. Hard guard acquired. So 4% extra chance of 
blocking slash dodging and more defense. I'll take that. That's the kind of defense upgrade I'm okay with. I don't have anything that buffs power, so I might as well increase that. Oh, random person in the overworld. Ah, I can't remember the last few days. I've been just wondering. Always a good sign. Bonk. Bonk. So we found the town. Easy enough. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Larva. Okay. What is that on their forehead? Is that like another horn? What are we looking at? Chad, how would you describe these? <laughs> that sound it makes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, you, you can't just throw this at me. Lightning Rod? I think so. Oh wow, she does no damage. Yeah, that sound effect was something else. <laughs> That's the kind of sound effect where you imagine it goes, it hurts to live! Like, it's just one of those things. <laughs> they can't- they can't hit me with that, it's not fair. Also, I don't seem to be doing a lot of damage, so we'll probably upgrade our weapons soonish. Ooh, that money total is not great. If we fight three of those, it's worth it. Two of those is not worth. Oh, I did not mean to enter Saint Centaur. I was trying to get around it. Please don't make me go in a cutscene. Okay, great. Saint Centaur can wait. I just, we need to know what's around us in case there's other points of interest. And it doesn't hurt to get more XP slash money if the XP is good. So far, it seems like it's not good. Yeah, so like this encounter I'm gonna run from. So the mountains were giving us more XP and those do more damage than the things in the mountain. So for me, it's not worth it. Warning danger, cage tower to the east, El Ruins to the southeast. Okay. Oh, we found the, we found cage tower chat. One can imagine what goes here. Bonk. So the game will probably make us come here later. So what about the other L Pyramid? Does that mean that I potentially can go back to the first area, or...? Let's go investigate this real quick. See, there's these little posts here, so this is telling me at some point we will get a grappling hook. Oh, so I can take this. So as I said before, I imagine this is going to take us back to the first area of the game. I just want to confirm. And then I might actually use the stores there to get items while I'm there. We... This thing contains the lightning statue, which seals the evil heart. Oh, so this is just a completely new area on top of that. So then, how hard are the enemies here? <laughs> right, chat? Are, are they, like, nearly impossible? There's a little caravan, so that means I could get items if I can reach it. Beyond the L Pyramid is a path to the enchanted world blocked by a magical door. So there's another L Pyramid. I don't think I want to take that one quite yet. I'm just curious, is this good XP or bad XP? Tail Moves. What a name. Uh, let's just do some normal strikes here. Uh, let's see how they react to getting daved. Ooh, that damage is really high. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely a harder area. I'm glad I'm using spells. They survived 460. Oh, she's dead. She's dead outright. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. These are kind of like mini bosses right now. Infrasonic. Oh, not the Confuse. Chad, anything but the Confuse, please. Not right now. I really need him to not be Confused. 
Um, I only have three of these. That's not good. He's going to attack himself, probably. And he missed himself, which, you know what? We'll take that. Poison's fine. I don't care about poison. Poison I can come back from. Diseased is like the GG. I guess I could summon Guardian to see how good it is. On this enemy. It's within, I think, two attacks of dying. Please don't get confused. Okay, good. Does this do more damage to this enemy, or is this still garbage? It's still pretty bad. 465 experience received. 960, buddy? <laughs> wow. Okay, I mean, to me, that was kind of worth it, chat. I don't know about you. That was much better than that other area. Like, okay. I'll read what chat says in a moment. Girl would have liked that XP. She would like a lot of things. She has to live first. Danger, do not enter the desert. You will be eaten alive. So I'm going to a town slightly out of order. I think I'd rather have the town over the other place. Can I just get like a super item here? Let's save the game. So I do like that I have some free reign as to what to do. I do not mind being underleveled in this area and just going back and clearing the other area more easily. I have no qualms with that. So I could get rid of status ailments by going to the church. How's my MP looking? Still pretty good. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I should investigate all the barrels. There we go. Got some money. Rewarded immediately. So there's a magic shop. I don't think we got another crest glyph though. Oh, I did. Um... Prevent magic usage, nullify spell, imprison enemy, study enemy abilities. Could get fire. Reduce response. Eh. Uh, so, so potentially fire magic. What are the other options? Avoid an attack. Eh. Overcome with anger, ally. I'm assuming that's like berserk. Increase encounter rate? Yeah, I don't think so. Reflect, recover senses, wake party. This one feels like the most useless. Like, most of the time I feel like if multiple people are asleep, wouldn't the wouldn't usually the caster also be asleep? Recover partial HP, increase parry rate, increase response, 50% attribute field all. I don't really understand what this one means. What what is an attribute? Is, does it mean spell resistance? I, I don't know what that, that term means by itself. Um, I guess I could do fire magic to just have more types. We're going basically pure black mage anyway, to be honest. So chat, we have to, we have to name the spell. Oh yeah, this one was previously called Dave. I forgot. <laughs> we'll, we'll ignore that. Um, you know what? We'll call it Sir Rob. We'll name it after chat. We'll even put the X. <laughs> there we go. Sir Rob X was completed. Wait, hold on. Did I look at that right? Oh, I have two more slots then. Uh, I guess we did pick up a lot more in the other dungeon, and I just forgot. Uh, so we have one for Berserk. We have Amp for Imperimeter already. So what do we want to name our Berserk spell chant? Right now it's just called Rage. do something like just random characters oh Gerd's fine too I was gonna make it look like it was swearing at us 
Oh, okay. I could call an Angie. Let's call an Angie. All right. There's no exclamation marks. Oh, that makes me sad. Uh, it's it's Angie time, chat. And we got one more potential spell. I don't think I'm gonna use most of the white magic. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not. I'm not really thoroughly impressed with its its choices. I don't think I really care about my turn speed yet. Like the time it takes me to cast it means it would be better if I was just like maybe it'd make more of a difference in a boss battle, but like in regular combat, which is like 90% of the game, I don't think it's worth it. I'm kind of curious about the imprison. I imagine it's just an insta kill. I guess if I really want to see how much HP things have, I could do this. So far, I have not had a reason to do this. Um. Well, there is earth magic I apparently don't have. I guess I should just round it out. So let's combine Geo and Geo. It's known as break. You only like insta kill. And emulators, because you could rewind until it works. Oh, I'm sure many people have done that. We're gonna we're gonna take it as is. Hmm. What would be a good Earth name spell, Chad? I don't want to take too long on these, so I'm gonna put a placeholder until Chad says. Is there anybody we want to honor from the chat that is here today? Hmm. It is earth magic. This is the Reaper's power. Oh, that's true. I just could call it Boldy. You're right. Yeah, we need Boldy. Let's see. You need a ship to get around the inner sea area. One, one so bad. What do you have to sell? Uh, you got the healing items that I'm looking for. Excellent. So we are back up to like a million heals. The one, okay, we need way more pinwheels. I'm buying like 11 of these, like immediately. I'm gonna get extra medicine because the status ailment sucks. And hold on to the rest of our money for now. So we, we got a good restock there, which is good. We don't know what we're gonna find in the barrels, which is why I'm looking. Desert to the west is the maze of death. Unsettled souls roam the ruins. Ooh, I wanna go there first. We got another spell, apparently. 2,000? Wow, that just paid for all of our upgrades, pretty much. Well, Chad, we got one more spell. I don't even know what to take. I'm probably going to get rid of some of our basic spells later. Honestly, I don't think I even want anything unless I just want... Because I just don't see a reason for me to use these. I mean, I could try to see if the cure spell is worth it later. I'll take it for now. We'll we'll bring we'll bring back fringing for the chat because we already named it. That way, chat can ask me about fringing. Captain Bartholomew is a nice man in spite of his strange act antics. Can you help him out? He seems a little depressed. In this town, the Bartholomews and the Drakes are feuding. Every time I hear them, the reasons are ridiculous. The verbal feud between the captain and Drake has gone. Uh, gone too far this time. Captain told Drake that he was going to use the crystal bud to propose to his beautiful girlfriend. Now he has to get the crystal bud. I don't know how he's going to get his hands on that. I can't believe the mess I've gotten myself into. But don't stop drinking. It's going to be. It's going to get the better of me. The crystal bud is in the maze of death. Here, are there are many monsters in that place. Who am I going to get to find the entrance of the desert to the west and retrieve the crystal bud? Drake's going to have a field day when he finds out. Ever since I found that guardian statue, weird things have been happening. The statue this drunken fool is talking about. Could it be? The statue is here, I know it. We must get this crystal bud. Then we then we may get a chance. Crystal bud? The captain needs one. Well, I see the chest that I want to get eventually. We're investigating the barrels in case there's more items. And before I forget, I don't think I checked this barrel. Yeah, nothing's there. It's also like a port over here. So we'll go there later. 
Mission number one is to check all the barrels, because it's just free items, and that saves us a lot of time in combat. Well, time to blow up this big crate. Ooh. So that was the secret path to get back here. Nothing here. Duplicator acquired? What is a duplicator? Spare key designed by magic. Oh, so I remember in the starting castle, there was that room that was locked that wasn't open upable by the tier crystal. I wonder if the duplicator is kind of like the magic key in order to find super chests. Hmm. We might have to go back to that castle at some point. But in the meantime, let's see what kind of equipment they have here. At least I have an arm, so my sir, do you want to see what I can do with your arms? Uh, how much is it for a... Only 500 to make it more accurate? Maybe. I'm thinking about it. Before we do that, though, let's upgrade our basic items. Welcome, what can I do for you? That is a 17 damage increase. That is a 26 damage increase. That is a nearly doubling our defense increase. Maybe it's worth picking up now that it doubles? Maybe. <sighs> I'm thinking about it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to my money for now. What I wanna do... Is I could end up getting a weapon in one of the other places. I'm going to increase the number of bullets by one so I can use it more often, and then I'm going to increase its attack power. Because that is kind of like our boss damage item. So I think what I'll do is I'll just use spells to kind of one-shot all the encounters for a little bit, and then I can come back and decide if I want weapons at that time. I think that's a better option for me. So we didn't explore up here at all. And as I said before, we don't know if we're going to come across new armors and weapons, because they have dropped before in more important locations. Got another boss healing item. What happened? I thought I was going to die in here. Ouch. What? What a drag. What are you doing? Aren't you a little old to be playing hide and seek? Yeah, no, no, no. Well, well I was being reprimanded. Well, thanks for the help. I should thank you in some way. I wonder what he did. You're a pickpocket. He won't take dirty money. How PC. Who cares how I earn my living? Money is money. Wow. They're talking about political correctness? Wow, chat. That that takes me back. Fine, I'll go return it. You'll regret you'll regret it. Don't look at me like that. I only steal from the rich. Usually really dumb. Just distract them a little and they're defenseless. He said Red Pill does wrong. Even novices can learn to pick a pocket. Just distract the target. This concludes my lesson on how to pick a pocket. Strange guy. He knows his trade, I suppose. Hey, Hanpan, let's give it a try. Are we really reducing ourselves to stealing now? No. You're going to take a look inside the monster's pockets while I fight them. Hmm. I have to go inside their pockets. Who knows what they keep in there? If it works, we'll be like treasure hunters. We already are, remember? Astral hint acquired. Oh, uh, now I feel a little bad. This is where I would have liked to have reduced the MP cost. Pickpocket being like reduced in your zero would have been good. Okay, so if we get any more of the cards, we'll do that to reduce its cost. I can't figure it out. Captain Bartholomew doesn't have a normal sense of love. Last time we... Ominously just ends the sentence there. The town of St. Centaur. There is a magic key called the Duplicator. Oh yeah, there's one here too. Five fruit acquired. Okay, so we have another boss safety item. So let's go investigate the port, and then we'll decide what we want to do. I do think it's worth fighting here over the other places, because this XP is like crazy good. I just have to survive. Which is funny, because I don't plan on getting any armor for that. I'm just gonna wing it, chat. We'll be fine. We sailors are tough when we're on the water, but on the land. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, there's a lot of barrels to investigate. Yeah, I can't blow these up. 
She's a great ship, except for the name. Get out of my way, random NPC. A boss, he's tough, but he's also very short. Doesn't he look like a dwarf? He's very sensitive about it. Yeah, yeah, random NPC. I'm the helmsman for the sweet candy. There we go, chat. Sweet, sweet candy. Who are you guys? Do you have a permission to board? Nope. I love the statue just on the back, by the way. Oh yeah, I would ruin their shipment for it, for sure. Well, I mean, that looks like the Guardian statue, but we can't interact with it for some reason yet. Oh, no items at the port. But well, we're often mistaken for pirates because we're armed to the teeth. And into a lot of monsters out there. Hmm. Wow, that was the most disappointing port we've seen so far in, in video games. Not a single item was attainable, and a plot element didn't occur either. That was pointless. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming we'll have to set sail on it eventually, but there's just literally nothing to do there right now. Oh, there we go. I stopped my dash at the last second to not bonk. The skill dash. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go save with the bird so I don't have to redo everything we just did. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go into the maze of death, even though I'm clearly not supposed to go here without more equipment. Because I think we'll get pretty good XP, and every fight, basically, within within three fights, I can afford a weapon, is I guess the best way of framing it. I just don't think the attack increases matter at the moment. The defense might, though. Because 40 is actually a pretty significant increase, because we're taking like 200-something currently. So we don't seem to have a way to find the entrance to the place. So presumably something will happen in the future. Let's see how hard the desert enemies are. Sand Beast. I'll pickpocket it just because. Uh. Oh, the spell. Can I not rearrange the spell order? That's kind of unfortunate. Let's use Rob on him. And I got counterattacked. Did okay damage. Oh, and then the crit happens. Goodbye. 400 XP received. Oh, that is 1400? Oh, chat, we're fighting here for a little bit. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I found the Maze of Death. There we go. Wow, chat, 1400? That is so much better than what we're fighting. Remember when we were getting 200 per encounter? First we pickpocket them, then we rob them. Something like that. Uh, so I could go this way if I want to. Alright, so that does hit- that does damage me if I run on it. I don't know if I want to do this dungeon yet, but I think it's worth doing a couple fights here. Preempt to strike on gemstone. Let's see how hard this is to kill. Probably gonna do zero. Alright, so we'll do another series of attacks, and then I'm gonna use her to rob the gem. I don't know if it counts as fire elemental, because it's a ruby. But we'll never find out, because I killed it. 90 XP? 300? No, 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 no. Alright, this place sucks for XP. We're leaving. We'll deal with this later. <laughs> right, chat? Nah. You're gonna give me that low XP? I don't care about that. Yeah, but the other enemy was one enemy, and that was worth 400, comparatively. It's literally so bad in comparison. Yeah, unless, unless the non-gem enemies are super good. We're fighting Rachel's. Okay. I'm gonna do normal attacks, because we got a preemptive strike. I don't feel like wasting MP. Oh, it's like a killer doll. It's like a Chucky. I mean, this should just kill, I think, with their damage combined, yeah. Okay, how much are these worth? No. What garbage? What garbage? 100 XP total? Come on. Give me a break. Why is the dungeon easier than the overworld? What? Anyway, I'm leaving. We'll deal with this later. Yeah, see what I mean, Rob? That's what I was complaining about earlier. Some of the encounters in this game don't make any sense. 
Like, you are actually legitimately getting robbed for fighting them, and they're a complete waste of your time. So if you're wondering why I was running from encounters earlier, it's because I, it's literally not worth doing. I want to fight that one enemy again. That one was worth at least four of those encounters. And if it comes with more than one, that would be crazy XP for us. Oh yeah, this encounter again. So we're going to use, I think, the bullet here. Let's go ahead and try robbing it. Hopefully she survives. Uh, let's see how they deal with Boldy. Please don't confuse the character that hasn't moved yet. Okay, good. Poison I don't care about. Eh, the damage was okay. But that damage was pretty good with the upgrade there, so I'm happy that happened. So we'll do some normal strikes. He still hasn't learned this move, I think, because he hasn't found an item. Uh, let's see how much damage Rob does to them. Oh, I think I finally got an item. Antidote acquired. Trickster has been mastered. Sadly, we can't rename his skill. Hopefully this kills. Perfect. Perfect counter-attack chat, that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, we're using Rom. Love the shadow flicking around. Ah! Uh, keep using Rob. Should be dead next turn, no matter what I do here. Ooh, yeah, see, their damage total is very high for us. Rob, go boom boom, pretty much. This should kill. Perfect. 310, 960. Not bad. So again, worth three times the other encounter. The downside is it does leave me a bit injured, but since I have healing magic now, let's teach them all about fringing. Okay, we use some fringing. So that'll save us money. Fringing will save us money in the long run if I'm planning to just go to the inn. So I want to do maybe two more fights, and then I think I'll get a couple upgrades. Sadly, now I kind of want to increase encounter rate. I don't need that many more fights, and then I can avoid basically all of them. Oh, this is the one that's not really worth it. That's kind of unfortunate that this happened. This is, like, the only fight that is, like, not worth it, comparatively. Uh, I'm just gonna Kirk plus plus them. I want them to die. So I don't think I should get a weapon for Cowboy, but I think it's worth getting for Hunter. Girl, I don't think she needs it because her spell damage isn't influenced by her weapon for some reason. Okay, she did okay damage, but it should put them in one-touch range. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So now if he goes first, they should just kill. Perfect. Yeah, 172 money, nah. Yeah, that that's the fight I don't want, so we'll do... I'll do one more fight. How close am I to leveling, by the way? 98, 400. So one more should level the girl, which is good. Then we'll proceed back to the other place. So in order to get max equipment for one of the characters, it would cost me 4,000-ish? I think I can afford that. Oh, this is the enemy I wanted to fight. This is the one I think is just absolutely worth fighting. This is such an amazing fight. One enemy, so I can hard focus it, and then I can do whatever I want with them. We're gonna Dave them. Because it doesn't even do that much damage, and it's just worth so much money in XP. Okay, we did confuse it. Counterattack is annoying, but not the end of the world. It missed. Dead. Girl is leveled. 1400. Like, that fight is so good. Yeah, most areas have a special enemy. It seems like it. 
And that thing is absolutely worth fighting. So I'm going to do one more fight to put Hunter at 14, and maybe I don't even need the equipment increase. I'm trying to think. I mostly just want status ailment cures. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. So what we'll do, we'll get into a fight, we'll use the inn, and then we'll go back to the other area. Because I think, for the most part, I, I could pay for an arms increase if I want to use it more casually. I guess that wouldn't be too terrible. Uh, I think I need to Kirk them. Because the arms right now is kind of like our big damage dealer on bosses, especially with defense down. Ooh, that should put him within kill range. Please counterattack. Oh, no counterattack. Sad. Because even this fight is just so much more worthwhile than the others. So I'm going to use another bullet here. I'm going to use Trickster, and then I'm going to probably just rob him. Let's see what item we get from this. Another antidote. I mean, I'll take it. Listen. I want status ailment cures. Those are the only things I fear. Ooh, almost killed him with Rob. Eh, she's not dying instantly. This is good enough. <laughs> we got our bullet for everything else. Hunter is leveled. Got multiple heal berries. So those things drop healing items to me, which is kind of funny. So they just make grinding way easier for people into that. But I think I got everything I need for quite some time. Only 30 for a full restore. That is completely worthwhile. Big money save there. So we'll hold off on getting any weapons. If I come back here and we go to the previous area and don't get any upgrades, I'll go ahead and do that. Let's reload our ammo. Party apple acquired. Uh, I guess I could use that. <laughs> Make the girl a little less one-shottable. So yeah, let's go back to the previous area. Or actually, I could explore what the other area does. Let let's do that, chat. Let's just continually go places I'm not supposed to. So basically, everybody went up a level just by fighting like once or twice in the overworld. So clearly XP good in overworld. Absolute trash garbage in that dungeon. It was even worse than the previous dungeon. I really don't know why it was like that. Mmm, sealed by magic. Okay, so I can't go further with this. So yeah, I, I just don't understand why that dungeon is worse than like the last two dungeons we've been to. Even from like a dungeon perspective, that XP was terrible. Like why would I fight for only 100 XP and 90 money? Uh... I guess I could take this fight. Hmm. Can I do a regular Kirk on them? Counter attack will help actually pretty significantly. Alright, so now this should result in a kill because Cowboy should go next. Or not. Larva went in between. Berry acquired. Uh, it kind of paid for itself, I guess. So let's go back, see if the other place has anything interesting. Because we'll, because the game mentioned that there's more than one duplicator, which is nice. So that means there's going to be multiple sealed treasure rooms. Potentially, we have to re remember where they are. I just remember the castle had one for sure. I think there might have been one in the monastery. Maybe. There's definitely one in the castle, though. So yeah, I don't think we need any advanced equipment. We'll be fine. I think that level up by itself is good enough. Having, like, another 90 health and also more damage is kind of nice. 
The dashing in this game for some reason re reminding me when I had to do the foot races in Crusader of Senti. I had to constantly like micromanage them and or the uh, cart racing of that game. Uh, so let's go back. So I think most of the overall fights here are now no longer worth it. Oh, I never fought Hellhound before. I guess we should at least fight them to see what they're like. Uh, I'll do generic Kirk. And I'm assuming with my level ups that it should be basically a two shot. Yep, it was. 120 XP. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna say no. I'd have to do over over 20 ish encounters. From like base level, no thanks. Anyway, let's go here and see what happens. So yeah, I think I think we can firmly skip all overworld encounters here. They're not worth it. Oh. Well, what? I was pushed away. Sorry, we thought you guys were monsters. The town of Saint Centaur is protected by a dimensional protection seal. The entire town wall is a charged barrier. It keeps the monsters out. Are you sure you guys aren't monsters? Well, I, I'm pretty sure Hunter is a monster. He keeps talking about destroying things with power. I wonder if I triggered the device. Why would you get caught in the device? Shield is very sophisticated. It will stop spirits as well as monsters. Is that a pet of yours? Not a damn pet. Hunter and I are... Hunter and I are partners. Can we come in? Then hold him deep inside your pocket and step through. That way you won't trigger the device. That is if you're not a monster. If you are, you'll be stopped again. Security has beefed up since the abductions. Strangely, the abductees return after a few days. Hmm. Anything in these barrels of interest? So there are random stat ups, which are the apples. Hey you, don't try to look inside someone's diary. That's just plain rude. According to my records, about 30% of our population has been abducted. Strangely enough, most of the abductees were found near the cage tower. If you dream chasers want to check out the tower in the in my place, I could give you the key that opens the sealed door. I have to say it's Saint Centaur and protect the people here. Will you do it? Sure. This is the key to cage tower. Whatever you find in the tower is yours to keep. Thanks for your help, key plate acquired. Please be careful. Perhaps your investigation will uncover some new clues. Alright, so we have permission to do go to the dungeon then. Use the duplicator. You can open a seal on a closed door. Yeah, yeah, we know about that already. Where is... Oh, there's more money. Oh, I can't rob him. I'm sorry. I was injured as a child. I'm blind. Due to my impairment, I could tell bad people from good by the sound of their voice. You're a nice person, but you've had many bitter experiences. Oh no, chat. She knows about Terranigma. <laughs> many bitter experiences, indeed. All right, church. I don't care about the church. Nothing in the barrels here. Hey you, what are you doing here? Piece of the Demon Queen's heart is sealed in the statue. Don't do anything stupid or I'll arrest you. Makes me laugh everything so far has been typical JRPG stuff, indeed. Agile Apple acquired. Ooh, do we get that to our spellcaster or other melee character? I think I actually just give it to the spellcaster. There we go, the cacophony. That one's for chat. I was abducted, but I'm fine. Oh, I didn't realize it was a push puzzle. It's actually kind of annoying. Yeah, because I, I can't get... Actually, he's just in my way. I don't think I can solve this with him here. And I can reset this later. I don't think there was another way for me to do that while he's standing there. Anyway, we'll proceed further for now. Check these out. Nothing in here. There's the item store. Do you have similar weapons? Do you have the same thing for sale if I really need it? I don't think 30 defense matters. I get more HP a level than anything else. I think what does matter is that we have these... Uh, cure ailment stuff. 
not dealing with these. They're quite terrible. I think we got an okay amount here. Just want to make sure we got like 15 or so of everything because the enemies seem to spam it a lot. I'll get more medicine. Honestly, that status ailment is garbage. So even if I somehow get like a cure status ailment in like the next couple of hours, I'd rather just not have to guess what they're... The dog just bodied me. I got the bonked chant. Can I go in from behind? No. Hmm. I don't think I can use the thing to steal it, right? Yeah, it won't do it. Can't get a good angle for it. Give him a bone. Sadly, don't have one. So we'll come back to that one later. 250 money acquired. I don't think there's anything I missed over here, so we'll move forward. Let's use the arm meister. Uh... Might just increase the general percentage. Although it's not a super great increase. Do I take 5,000 and upgrade the gun again? I think I do. Okay, I'm gonna leave it as is for now. I think 90 something percent. Chan, I swear, if I still miss this gunshot, I'm gonna lose my mind. I don't have any glyphs. We burned all of our money, and that's fine. Because now we have, like, a guaranteed boss kill. So far, nothing has been able to survive more than five to six bullets. King of Artica was destroyed overnight. Some think this was the work of the demon race. We still have to get boss money, and there's still barrels here we haven't found. I'm sure we'll get more items. So if we leave this town and don't get a duplicator, it means I missed an item. What is this? There's a magic key called the duplicator stored here. Anyone who opens a sealed door with this item, that's why it's under guard, please leave. Okay, so I can't get it yet. Got another magic carrot, which restores MP. So yeah, we have all the time in the world to get more money. So in case we end up getting another arm to spend money on, I'm gonna make her tankier so she doesn't die. Yeah, yeah, we know about the teleportation. Yeah, 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 I'll tell you. <laughs> that dialogue would have been more useful earlier. Before we took our first teleport. Cage ah. Tower in the Northeast was used for capturing monsters. A magic device stored in the tower mobilizes monsters. This is like a giant steel cage. Power Apple acquired. Uh, this should just go to Hunter, I think. <laughs> Why does it have a hobgoblin in their house? It's true. Cats and hobgoblins do make the same sound. Oh, there's no item back here? I was so excited. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go explore it. Okay, well, we know where the duplicator is, so presumably once I help them, I'll get access to it. Is there anything else to do here? Well, there's this guy here. Ancient days, the cage tower in the northeast was used to capture monsters. Hmm. So there's multiple people guarding chests that I don't know how to get by. Maybe we'll just come back later and they'll let us get through. Hmm. And get another spell if I really want to. Actually, I really kind of don't. We'll explore the pub maybe a little more. A little cash. The far north and in the forest to the east, there are some strange ruins. Yeah, like maybe arguably I could have gotten a weapon for Hunter since I think his stuff is based off of that, but, like, Cowboy's damage doesn't seem to matter what his weapon is. It just helps for the auto-encounters. So the only character I need to arguably keep upgrading is the, uh, Hunter. Even then, his damage is pretty good. So I don't know if, like, 14 would make that much of a difference, given that he's already helping two-shot. So I don't think I'm hitting, like, new damage thresholds. Some say the ice-covered Artica is also covered with monsters. Constant snow and powerful monsters keep it a true mystery. The sudden fall of the Artician people terrified everyone. Is it possible Artica fell to the demons? Hmm.
We were abducted. Did you know abducted people have no memory of what happened during that time? I believe it now. Okay, so I can't sneak the uh, mouse thing past people. Or wind squirrel, whatever it called itself. Go this way. I guess I'm ready to continue. Get save at the inn. Restore our bullets. Oh, bullets already got restored. So we don't have a ton of money, but by the time I leave here, if we don't find a weapon in this upcoming dungeon, I'll just buy it for Hunter by the next area. As I almost guarantee between the mandatory fights and a boss fight, I'll get at least another 1,000 money. And then we'll skip getting armor. <laughs> like I said before, so far we have not really touched armor in this game, and I have not really been punished for it. Other than girl dying that one time, and it didn't matter. Okay, right, well, I guess we'll go to the tower. Are you able to make Hunter's pet grab the chest? Yes. So he could be used to open chests if he's got a clear line. The problem with the other chests is stuff has been in the way. So I couldn't sneak it past the dog because I didn't have a good angle. And then the people in the tavern were blocking it. I mean, surprisingly, her damage isn't too bad. Do something like this just to guarantee the kill. So this is basically free money and experience. Hopefully I go first with the speed up here. Nice crit. Thank you, speed up. So it's just more money for later. Rob always rooting for the, the enemy. Age tower reached. It's locked. Okay. Use the key plate. Hmm, there's a left and a right. Let's go left first. I think that was the right call. Man, chat, when in doubt, always pick the left path. It's either literally progress or easy items. It's never usually a dead end. Let's go left again. Oh, ambushed. So let's see. Had she had armor, she would have taken only 70. Which, to me, doesn't really matter. Nice crit. That'll save some time. So if they level more, they'll it'll be as though... I got the weapon upgrades from earlier. And their extra health might effectively mean like I had also purchased the armor. Wow, triple crit. Disgusting. Speaking of which... How close are we to leveling with these characters again? Not that close, okay. There's a staircase downwards. There is a chest over here. I could get another spell if I want to. This tells me we're going to probably unlock a new set of spells because I I'm like almost capped. Let's run away from this. Rob loving the music. The music's very good in the game. We'll hold still so Rob hears more of it. Yeah, I don't... Oh, you can rearrange these. Oh. Put eek at the bottom. Hmm. I think I want... Something like this, maybe? I want all of our single target spells on one side and our potentially situational spells on the other side for ease of menuing. Do something like this. So I have five different elements to potentially hit an enemy now. So found another switch. Left side has paid off yet again. Got an item and progress. 
Decorabia? What? It's coming out of a pentagram thing. Well, I should probably kill this thing first. I don't expect to get a lot of money, but I'm just curious overall what kind of XP to expect. Oh, it's using Sylvania on us. Oh no, we're being attacked by our own spells, chat. Chaosvania has betrayed me. That means I could get Sir Robbed. I didn't realize it renamed it for the enemy. That's kind of funny, actually. Four hundred and forty money is actually not bad. The XP is terrible, though. But I'll take that. Four forty is not bad. For only two enemies, I'll take that. Uh, I don't think I need this fight. So I think already we have enough to purchase a weapon if I need to. Yep. <laughs> so that that's basically meeting our current expectations. I'm gonna use fringing on myself real quick. Save myself some items for later. So we're going up another floor. Nice little falling floor tiles. Up we go. I guess they are kind of making it feel like a tower. Oh, you could just run off. Oops. Try that again. Today we learned. <laughs> the, the game does not have an invisible wall there. Round shield acquired. You must be able to synchronize with an arm in order to open an arm case. Oh, so then I have to switch to him. Prism laser arm acquired. So I got a new weapon type. So we have a boss slayer. I wonder if this other weapon will be like an AoE. Because we don't have like a good crowd control item. And they each have their own separate... Yeah, okay. So we have our group attacker and our boss killer. Okay. So I don't have a reason to basically hold on to the Prism Ray ammo at all. Although I'm going to have to pay money to upgrade it. Bullet equip acquired. That's not bad. Round shield gives us 2% more block chance, sure. Yeah, that should open the pathway. Like, I don't even need to run. I was thinking I had to do like a dashing minigame originally. It's like, it's just... It lasts just long enough for it to not matter. You have to fight Moldworm on top of this? I don't know what Moldworm is. But hopefully not wrong. Preemptive strike. Oh, this is the larva from the other area. Let's see. Gravity waits for you to pass before it gives up. Something like that. Let's do... Oh, is that what it's called? Oh, I've never, I never knew that's what it was called. Interesting. Also, I meant to Kirk plus plus there. That was actually a mistake. We'll Prism Ray this. Strike you. Just do a normal attack on one of these things. It should kill, because I did damage earlier. Oh no, we Boldy betrayed us! We've been boldied. How rude. Bonk. Well, Prism Ray serving its purpose. It seems decent damage-wise. We might buff its attack next time we get a chance. 800 cash. That's actually pretty good for what that was. So I might be able to get an arms buff for the arm. And given that it does make combat much faster, I don't mind putting some money into it. And I don't have any regrets on buffing the other arm so far. 
since now I can use it potentially against mini bosses if we fight like that dr random dragon thing again in later areas. And I have an extra bullet or two, so I can spare it for regular combat a bit more often. Uh, do I need to heal? Not really. So I think as long as she defense downs, we should be able to do insane damage at this point. So what does this say? The sun rises from the east and sets in the west. The sun rises from the east again to light the path for the insecure. So right, left, right. Is that what it's telling me? Oh, oh wait, you know what? I think I just realized I made a mistake. So I think what I have to do, let me try this again. Do I just skip the middle door or do I need to do them in sequence? That's the only thing I'm asking myself. Yeah, maybe it's something like this. Maybe it wants me to skip the middle door. So if that's east, this would be west. Into east and just never use the middle door. Is that what it wanted me to do? Looks like it. Huh. <clears throat> Three chests. Goat doll acquired? Excuse me? Sacrifice to revive ally? Oh, it's like escape doll. Escape goat. Why are there so many sacrifice to revive ally items I'm receiving? What horrible thing am I fighting that I it thinks I need this? Uh-oh. Well, we're almost at the top of the tower. Okay, I think this fight is worth taking. So let's prism. Oh, they're split up, so that won't work. Hmm, the downside of group only attacks. Let's focus our damage a little bit on the larva. I think I'm gonna need to Kirk plus plus this group. Ooh, that crit is actually huge. Ooh, they resisted it. That's not good. Normally that does like 300 plus. So I guess they all have resistance to it and the guy in the middle literally can't be damaged by it. That's unfortunate. Oh, that makes that spell a lot less useful. Thank you for counterattacking though. That'll save me time. Unfortunate. I'm just gonna mash attack here. I guess in theory I could have used, uh... If the fight continues another turn, I want to actually use an item to heal. Ooh, that counterattack might make it end earlier, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright, so I got an antidote and heal berry back anyway. I could have used the girl's AoE heal potentially there, is what I was about to say. But it basically paid for itself. I'm going to keep her magic up in case the boss is weak to certain elements. We're certainly climbing a tower right now. Anything we could do with these statues, like interact with them? Nope. So yeah, cash-wise, I could probably upgrade the arm to be a little better. Oh, you're here. Oh, you're the kind of enemy I do want to fight. Uh, I'm gonna Sonic Buster, and then I'm gonna... I think I'm just gonna Sir Rob you. Interesting, the enemies eventually became the ones in the other overworld. Which is fine, because their XP and gold was completely worth it. Five, not bad. I think we'll use another one of these. And I'll see how they react to just regular Kirk. This should probably kill all of them.
Because I think her damage is actually pretty good. Oh, speaking of which, I think it's GG. Okay, how much does regular Kirk do to them for future reference? Eh, an okay amount. Goodbye. Miss? Aw, unfortunate. This should kill. Well, that'll definitely kill. It was a crit. So 960 and got healing berries back. So that basically pays for an arm upgrade by itself. Pop another heal here and be fun. So we barely used any items in the ascent. Here we go, up to the top of the tower. Oh no, chat, we've been caged. So you're the humans working for the guardians. You, the statue in the human town will be destroyed. Unlike Belisilk, I don't like making a mess out of things. I'm going to need a few minutes to complete my experiments in town. Here, you guys can play with my friend. I promise you won't be disappointed. I could try earth magic against the flyer, maybe? Maybe Boldy's effective here. But we got a defense down first and gone. I'm gonna use a regular shot with 93% accuracy. I could try to steal from the boss. Let's make sure they know they're wide open. Oh, we got an item. What did we get? Has nothing, wow. What a waste of time. Okay, defense down. 517, oh my gosh. We made this a boss slayer for sure. Uh, let's see how they handle being bullied. And again, this kind of damage means I could just use her ability to AoE heal and not really lose that much time, if any. Okay, damage was nice. 344 is pretty good. I think hand cannon with defense down though is kind of insane. I guess I should probably arm lock it just to make sure I don't miss. Uh, I can see how Sivania does against it maybe. I think Chaos Mania was wind. Amp was definitely thunder. Slash lightning. Yeah, it was wind. I just want to see what the damage difference is, if any. Okay, so it looked like Bolty did do more damage, so I think that was its weakness. Either that or it has wind resist. So I'm glad we checked. Yeah, this boss fight is so over. I just don't even see what it could really do to us. I'm gonna risk not healing. I'm just gonna use Bolty. Maybe we could kill it here. Honestly, our damage is- oh, wait a miss. Thanks. Thanks, game. Well, now I don't think I'll get the kill. Not with that kind of whiff. Yeah, we pumped up hand cannon- the hand- excuse me, the hand cannon dam- I can't talk. Hand cannon damage so high. I'm not really worried at this point. I might even just use a regular shot here. We got a 93% chance of hitting. And I guess I'll just use Boldy again. Okay, I'm gonna do this to make sure he doesn't whiff, because that was ridiculous that he missed earlier. So he would have survived. But Boldy's putting in the work right now. Imagine at most one more rotation of attacks will kill. It's using Death Wind on us, which is a little concerning. Girl's HP is kind of low. And she died instantly. Cool. Thank you, Insta Death Attack. Don't you love that, Chad? Don't you love Insta Kill in your video games? I sure appreciate and love it. I'm just going to keep attacking. I feel like we're close enough that it doesn't really matter. Although this thing is surprisingly tanky. Um, let's accelerate her into... I'm not even gonna bother. You know what, if they wanna kill Hunter, let them do it. Let it all go to Cowboy, I don't care. 
think he lifts this. Never mind, he doesn't. How is this fight still not over? Are you really gonna force me to heal? Yeah, I didn't think so. Get out of here, game. I'm not using revives. <laughs> Let all that XP go to the damage dealer. I don't care. The more damage he does, the faster these boss battles go. Oh, that's so much XP. Nice. Take that, our other party members. <laughs> the statue's in danger. We must get out of here. Wonder what Alhaz at. What? Alhazad? I forget how to say that already. Meant by the experiment. Could we do something about this barrier? A girl says, Do you want to know of the Night Gaunt? Is it in this tower? Yes, I understand. So, this is the evil Night Gaunt. These people are just like us. They're bounty hunters. They apparently killed the Night Gaunt. Oh, that's what the end stood for. Master, what should we do? Yeah, do something, will ya? So, you want to get out, huh? How much is it worth to you? You have my bounty, and I need the cash. Money? You want money? We're trying to save the world, and you're asking for money. Give me a break. I don't give a damn about what you're trying to save. A girl, not to be confused with a girl, exactly. All I care about is money. It's as simple as that. Damn it, how much do you want? Hmm, about 2,000. There's no way we could pay that much. Like I said, I really don't care. Why? We have 2,000. Do you want out or not? What if I say don't pay? Nothing is going to happen if you stay there, you know. One more time. What happens if I don't pay? Oh, thou must pay the 2,000. Got it. That's more like it. Watch this. Just like Cowboy, she uses an arm. I'm, I'm Jane Maxwell. I'm known locally as the most beautiful woman here, next to my sister. She's known as Calamity Jane in some parts. Oh, she was referenced earlier. This little girly is Calamity Jane? What's wrong with being a little girl? Don't tell them anything, McDolan. Excuse me. Where is my money? We had a deal, remember? Handed it over 2,000. A deal's a deal. Don't hate me. See ya. So anyway, that was the thing that just happened. Oh, look at him. He's level 15 now. Nice. So again, the, the higher his stats, honestly, the better. I want this character to go repeatedly in boss battles. So let's go ahead and eek out of here. I'm so happy we took eek as a spell chat. That was like 15 to 20 minutes we just skipped by not having to backtrack through that entire tower. Uh, I guess we could go back. I doubt I'll be able to use the inn, but I feel like if the girl is forced to build up force meter, she'll at least be able to use magic carrot in time. I'll just do normal attacks here. I don't think it'll matter. So yeah, Cowboy is now ultra tanky, and because his weapon mostly scales off his stats, him being ahead of the party is fine with me. Because he's going to be our main damage dealer for boss fights. I think Hunter's more useful in, like, normal battles. Although, Cowboy did just get a group attack. Girl is just meant to do whatever role. She's more support role in bosses, but she's still pretty good in normal attacks. Or normal encounters. So we'll do this to get a little bit of money. And that should pay for the inn or any other items I really want. So what horrible thing is about to happen here is the question. Uh-oh. Sad music's playing. There's no one here. Just some empty beds. Cool, I don't even have to pay for the inn. Yeah! Right, chat? Yeah! You know what I'm gonna do, right, if the whole town has been abducted slash captured? You know I'm going back to the bar and stealing those chests. <laughs> I don't give a damn about their property. It's mine now. And then we could go take the item that was allegedly probably guarded by the dog. I think that was there earlier. 
I'm like, listen, I know it wants us to go to the north and we investigate the statue, yada yada. I just want these. Ocean, ocean, secret sign. How am I gonna make Trickster cost less? Since I will probably be using that every now and then. I think that just makes more sense. Ooh, random encounters are actually happening in the town. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, this is just win-win for me. I agree, Rob. I was like, hell yeah. That means I can get money and get unlimited healing here. Too bad it's just Hellhounds. I wish it was the other area. I mean, I might as well just go all out then. The only thing I need is bullets. That's the only thing that concerns me. I don't have a lot of bullets if we fight another boss encounter. Hopefully the arms dealer is around somewhere before we fight the boss that's here inevitably. Flame ring acquired. Ooh. That sounds like a good pickup. So instead of getting antidotes, we got like a rare item. Yeah, they should just be dead next turn. Yeah, Hunter going first means that he's usually going to outspeed the enemy, and he also leads to one-shots. That's why I think upgrading his weapon might be worth it in the future. Let's see how good the flame ring is. Power of fire. Is it equipable or usable? Maybe it buffs... Maybe it buffs Sir, the, the, the spell that Sir Rob uses? Let's see. I mean, sadly, we're fighting Hellhounds, so I don't know how effective that'll be. I'll just go back and sleep. Hmm. Or... Wait, hold on. Can people other... Hold on, let me check something. And for example, Hunter equip it. Oh, you know what it is? Okay, so it's probably... Okay, so if uh, characters other than the female can use it, I think what can happen is that maybe this imbues my weapons with fire damage and or gives me elemental resist versus fire, in which case I don't care about them. Oh no, not all the people of... Oh, we can read the diary now. Let's say Dire here. Do you want to read the last entry? Hell yeah. Is it like you're wounded? I know my time remaining here is not long. The monsters appeared all of a sudden, out of nowhere. Did the dimensional protection seal not operate? The monsters' numbers increase as the people watch in horror. Those monsters went straight for the statue. They destroyed the statue and turned on the people. Is it, a tr is it true that a piece of the heart of the Demon Queen was sealed in the statue? Diary to Bloodstained Diary. Yeah, we weren't allowed to read it earlier. So we're not sure what it was called before. Oh, come on. Stop it with the ambushes. I'm shaking my head, chat. I'm just like, come on. Yeah, our counterattack's gonna do no damage. They have 250 health. That 64 does not matter. She got attacked so often, I could carry it upgrade if I really wanted to. Let's just... Sonic Buster, I think, into regular Kirk. Hopefully this should just kill them. Ooh, he does enough minimum damage that it one-shots. That's really good. Hmm, she's not able to outspeed them. That's kind of unfortunate. I should have been giving her the Agile and just given up on Cowboy. I didn't realize how slow Cowboy would be, sadly. So I made a small mistake there, because I think her going before the Hounds would have saved me a lot of time. Girl leveled up, nice. So at least she has more survivability for an upcoming boss battle. I don't- oh, there's a woman here. Been hiding in my house all this time. What happened to the town? Got some strange energy surrounding this place. So there are some survivors. So I wonder if the arms dealer is alive. Is the nun alive? Nope. On your own. <laughs> God won't save you now. Uh, let's go this way. 
Uh, oops, random encounter. I wanna check out the dog treasure, maybe? Can I really, can we just not do this fight, please? I wish the arm, I wish the ammunition guy was alive, unless he's hiding in one of the stores. Which doesn't seem like a... So I think they killed the dog, because nothing's guarding this chest anymore. The bone was acquired. Dot, 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 question mark. Let's take this item. Lucky card acquired. So we have more XP multipliers if I really want it. So I guess I could save it up for a harder boss battle. I don't think I want to use these yet, but maybe when we get to the next area, I could just use one of these now that we're at three. Because doubling money and XP from a boss sounds like a good idea. I just don't feel like using them this early. I think I'll use my AoE gun here into this, into this. Oh, I don't like that I'm getting outsped so badly there. The worst part is I think one of them does have a speed up rune on, but it just doesn't matter. Nice. So I can recover my bullets later. Is there anybody in here? Nope. I guess I'll proceed to the plot. Oh, there's also that building over there we never went into, which should have the duplicator. Let's go check this out first, actually. Almost forgot about this building. Good, we're able to run. So I'm looking at this and I'm just deciding what the puzzle solution is. I guess I just move the other block down one and then we should be fine. So just do this. Get it required. All right, well, that's there, I suppose. Nobody's in here. We'll go to the statue. So sadly, it seems like I, I can't restore my ammo, but it also doesn't seem like there's any bosses here. So I guess this is kind of win-win for me. There's nothing in the town that I was missing. I think we got everything now. We got two duplicators for rare chests. Let's go check out the statue. The statue is speaking directly into my mind. I am the sealed. I am the sacred spirit, Aeon Poa. My powers are weakening. Take what I have left and use it against the demons. Saint Rune acquired. Another piece of the Demon Queen's heart has been released. There's only one left. Let's hurry to the town of Timni. We must reclaim the teardrop before they use it to wake their queen. The entire town is empty. Everyone just disappeared. The demons must have done this. All this just to get at the statue. I'm assuming the people that were abducted were converted into monsters and they just didn't know. I'm assuming that's what the lore is of what just happened. Uh, go here. A pure attack power rune. Ooh. That's kind of exactly what I want. So he's got a speed up, which has not been super useful to be honest he's always going dead last is it more useful to make him tanky since he always ends up last hmm I'll leave it as is for now oh well guess the town's dead <laughs> right chat oh well I'll just let them do whatever they want here I think this is fine So we should be at the point where we can one-shot everything as Hunter. Cowboy plus girl on a single enemy might kill an enemy. And if he counterattacks again, this is really good for us, actually. Yeah, because at this point, he's so leveled that he'll do the minimum 250 to kill. This should also kill. 
even without a counter attack. Yeah. Alright, so they do just enough to be relevant. Gilberry reacquired. Money total was what? 7,000? Okay, so I can upgrade the other arm for normal casual encounters. I think the problem is, though, maybe it's not even worth leveling the arm at this point. Because of the fact that, like, he's never going to go before the enemy. Oh, there we go. So maybe I actually don't level it, unless the boss battle has multiple enemies. I can hear the voice of pain. The voice of sadness. And feel the screams of human fools releasing me from these cursed chains. Siegfried says, we are almost there. Phil Gaia is practically ours. I'm still concerned about the humans who contacted the Guardians. You screwed up again, not once, but twice. I think these humans are too much for you to handle. Why don't you let me take care of them? I'm sure I can accommodate them. Damn you, uh, just you wait. Stop it, Bell Silk. She's right, you know. The elves and the humans have shown abnormal abilities when pushed into a corner. We cannot afford any mistakes until the revival of our photosphere and Lord Mother is completed. Not you too, Zeke. I'll show you. I'll show everyone what Belsel can do. I'll bring the heads of those humans and line them up right here. Guardians are not their history. You have such a temper, my fellow Duke. Here, let me see what I can do. Do what you like. It's been 1,000 years since we came here. The loss of our homeworld, Hades, which is totally not Hades. We came to this planet to make it our home. Power rules all. This place will belong to us. Only then will we... Uh-oh, Mother's Cocoon is gradually hatching. Well, anyway, things are normal. Things are fine. Suppose we could go to the other area now. But yeah, I guess there's really not a purpose to the laser gun on him. Like, in theory, it rounds him out a little more. But, like, if he's never going to attack, what's the purpose? The villains are so sympathetic, you can really understand their side of things. Yeah, they lost their home planet. They just want a new planet. It's gonna wipe out all the human scum to do that. Oh, there's another place here. You weren't here earlier. I guess because the other town was wiped out, they want to make sure you could do that. How are we doing item-wise? Mostly fine. Alright, this should hopefully tide us over for when we inevitably get another upgrade to our spells. So I'm not going to purchase any more status cures. I think we should be good for the rest of the game. Oops. My bad. Still haven't found the hookshot equivalency yet, which is a bit odd. I'm assuming it's actually mandatory to get it at some point. Otherwise, there's going to be like one million places I have to revisit once we receive it again. Oh well, I'm assuming we'll get it at some point. So I guess I would revisit, maybe that would give us more spell glyphs once we get advanced spells. So I'm assuming once all the statues are destroyed, sometime after that we'll get the ability to get the hookshot. Okay, just making sure nothing was up there. So at this point if enemies want to fight me, I'm kind of okay with it. 
Okay, so we don't have the thing needed to get through the magical doors still. I'm okay with getting a random fight here. We should go back to the end, if nothing else, to restore our bullets. Probably should have taken manual control. Probably. I'll do manual control over the girl again. And she's confused, so it doesn't matter. Unfortunate. Fine. Go manual. If she was... If I was able to use her, I would have done it. Let's use hand cannon just to kill one of these, maybe. That's a pretty good damage, actually. She just leaps somewhere randomly. Yeah, so his... So Hunter's most powerful spell is still weaker than the gun. So I'm glad that we upgraded the gun. But I think it's probably about time to give Hunter a weapon upgrade. And we, I think we could ignore the other character upgrades. Because spells aren't impacted by it. And I think Cowboy is just too slow for it to matter. And if I really need to, he now has a gun to do that stuff. When the villains win, I could do stuff. You're not wrong. So let's go back to the town. Get our bullets back. So we'll get a weapon for Hunter. Uh, do I bother with any other upgrades? I don't think I do. Switch to her briefly. Oh, for some reason I thought the weapon store was up here. Maybe that was the other place. Where is the weapon store then? Where's the merchant? Ah, oh, it was over here. Slightly wrong path, though. So let's give him the upgrade. Do I bother? Yeah, see, it's only attack power. That, that was a mistake. They should have made it uh, magic. They should have increased sorcery or something. Unless attack power does affect her damage, and it's not entirely clear. We know sorcery definitely does. Do I bother with armor? No. <laughs> Just go like, nah, that's fine. Uh, so let's see what we could do to upgrade our arms. How much is it for another one? 7,000 for another upgrade. 1,200, don't think that's worth it. Another bullet, maybe. 500 for one attack increase. That's probably fine. Although it only went up by five, so maybe just leave it as is. I'll pay 100 for more hit percentage. I would like to not miss with normal attacks. Do one more, I think. So hopefully with 6% more, I whiff a lot less. Might be worth adding a bullet here. Yeah, let's give a bullet. Oh yeah, that should be good enough. So I now have extra bullets in case I have to solo again with him. And if I do need his crowd control with the other gun, at least it's fairly solid. Oh, actually, I should save the game. We haven't saved in a while. Because I think the damage of the cannon is very good right now. The other one is probably going to be on the weaker end. Yeah, I don't think it's worth resting for 100 HP. Not worth the time or money. So we know where the Maze of Death was, roughly. It was like over here, I think, specifically. There it is. So let's go through the Maze of Death with the disappointingly weak enemies. <laughs> now that we have extra levels on top of when we came here the first time. Um, I guess I could go back to the left. What happens if I go up here? Okay. 
There's a chest. I assume I can't get anything with this. Also, I forgot to use the stopwatch to uh, teleport to the beginning of the town. What is this? Solving puzzles, don't even know what I'm doing. Maze of Odds of Survival are pretty good if you got this far. Yeah, pretty much. So we haven't bothered increasing any of our weapons at all, which is kind of funny to me. So we're still attacking with stuff from like two towns ago, and I don't really notice a big difference to be honest. Cowboy leveled again. Wait, how how many levels is he above the party now? <laughs> two two is two solid levels. Wow. What a pro chat. This character's unkillable. So I don't know what that did, but presumably I need to do that more than once. Yeah, I don't see what it did, if anything. Does that mean I could go to the far side here? <laughs> to get attacked. I mean, these enemies are pretty easy, so I'll just take the money rather than trying to retreat. Since they seem to die in one turn of combat regardless. Fusion's annoying. And I still attack the right target. Nice. Yeah, that XP is just terrible. Like 152 money. Like, cut me a break. Let's use Fringing. Ooh, this just leads to a save point. Interesting. I mean, I guess I could make a safety save here. I doubt I'm gonna die. But we'll make a save here, given how easy the enemies are. But who knows, maybe there's some super ultra BS boss we haven't seen yet. I guess, I was gonna say, I guess I'm not confused because I'm not using that character currently. So there's that central path I can't get into yet. Maybe that's where the room eventually unlocks. So if this opens the, oh, it's not what I thought would happen when we came here. Hmm. I was thinking if, you know, if we move both statues, maybe it opened the door where the save point was, and then we just immediately deal with the enemies. What the heck are we fighting? Take control of girl briefly. Let's go ahead and... Normal strike minion. Let's go ahead and Sonic Buster these. And then I'm going to do Kirk plus plus on the rest, just to clean it up. Assuming they even survive this. Oh, then th this guy's ultra dead then if he's getting Kirk plus plus. Kirk plus plus means every single strike is going to hit them. So it should do like insane damage, like 500 plus. Yep. Ultra dead. <laughs> Hunter's gone up a level. Nice. Or pin well, lots of pinwheels. So he, Hunter's already good enough to one-shot most of these things. Okay, so I found the other statue. So ideally, if there's not that many enemies, I'll go ahead and just normal attack. What's back here? Ooh, a one-way. Hmm. I'll have to take note if we have an option to drop down later. Don't drop down later. I'm getting very lucky on Valkyrie. What do you mean? There's only one target. I think I'm gonna shoot the gemstone here. I'm gonna do Sonic Buster, and then I'm gonna do probably Kirk Plus Plus again. Damage is randomly assigned to different targets, but there's only one target, Calvisham. Yeah, Ultra Dead. So, like, if it's four people, it'll split it randomly between those targets. I agree. But when there's only one target, it does a lot of damage. I think people are sleeping on how unfair that is. So it is absolutely going to one-shot every single time. Unless they have immunity to it. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. There's a switch. Revealed stairs. You can get low damage. 
Are you sure it's not resisting? Because I've had that happen before. Where, like, I did it on, like, the arcane guy and it does literally zero to them. But so far, it's working exactly how I would expect. So let's go through... Maybe I Sonic Buster these. Then... Oh, Kirk Plus Plus again. Why not? So this time the damage should be split. So one might end up with like 400, one might end up with only 100. This is where the damage is random. Actually, they did it pretty evenly there. That works. That wasn't too bad. Had 100 to 800 on the same boss. That's unfortunate. Ooh, there's another door back here. <laughs> I don't want to go in the pit. Clear chime acquired? What is this? Oh, I forgot to sell the other weapon. Nullifies confusion. Okay. Presuming I could fall in the pit. I can. So I could have done that to shortcut going back up there. Can I just avoid this fight? The XP is just not good. Okay, good. The dolls are just not worth our time. They're just so weak. There we go. Think this is a new area? No, it's not. Go backwards then. Ooh, the screamer is here. I'll do it just because it's called the screamer. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna keep using Kirk Plus Plus on them. Oh, he's an elemental type. Mm, I don't think this is going to do a lot of damage to him then, unfortunately. We should kill the other minions, though. Assuming the damage splits favorably. I'll take that. Nice. Goodbye. I love he just explodes. So the XP is fine, the money total is terrible. It still takes way too many encounters to level with where we're at, so that's why I still think I'm over leveled. I save a little bit of MP and just heal this way. Ouch. There's a pit there, don't think I'm gonna go there yet. Uh. So I can't do anything with these yet. Let's go around the side. Hmm. So we're fighting whites. Let's see how much damage we do to them before I decide if I need to use spells or not. Oh, we one-shot them. Good thing I didn't use spells. This will hopefully kill. Nice. So she does enough to assist Cowboy for damage. 300 XP is fine. Just, I think the money difference is just absolutely atrocious. So, maybe I have to move one more set of statues to make progress here. So maybe I have to learn how to come back here later. But it doesn't seem like I can interact with them at the moment, so we'll, we'll revisit. Because there's two entire other sets of rooms I've never been to. So it's possible I just need to do stuff there to continue. Preemptive strike. Okay, we'll just do normal attacks then. Ooh, the absolute one shot. Four. Nice. Ooh, that crit though. Goodbye. That's a nice amount of XP for low effort. around that. 
Uh, I think I need to go this way to go back. Yeah, so there was a bottom right and the bottom left we still have not been to. I guess I could go to the bottom left first. So this encounter I don't think is worth running on just because I kill them instantly anyway and they don't usually go before me. But unfortunately here they did. Their XP is just absolutely heinous. Hey, come on, 100 XP? Cut me a break. So bad. One room away, I was getting literally triple the XP for even less effort. Right, since I'm here, I might as well as reset the room a little bit. I'm going to do this. Go to the bottom right. Fine, I'll run away, but it better not get caught the one time I go to run from this. Okay, good. Get out of here. There's a whole area over here. Oh, that was rude. Punish the dashers. Lots of items. Mystic apple, agile apple, party apple, power apple. They really attacked me when I was opening the menu while moving. Wow, that's so unlucky. Well, preemptive strike. Might as well just kill this thing. That was really unlucky. Well, so much for the stat boosts. So I think Agile Apple should go to Girl. Power should go to Hunter. Vitality probably also goes to Girl so she can li live a bit longer. I guess that's all I really care about. Damage can go to Hunter, of course. Could make it more sturdy in theory if I needed to. Mystic Apple should go on her, because I actually use her sorcery. Agile Apple can also go on her. Power Apple could go to Hunter. Party Apple could go on her. There we go. God, I can't dash. There's like something there, unless I want to take free damage. Unfortunate. Alright, well, I guess it was worth going that way just for items. But that doesn't really solve the puzzle. We're gonna do this just to reset the room. So I've hit two statues so far. What's over here? Tired of those low XP enemies, Chad. How much do I need to level, by the way? 73. In theory, I could take a battle to level her. So it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Everybody else needs 2,000 plus, and it's not worth my time. Okay. What was the point of this area? Okay. There's a chest. I guess that's the purpose. Uh, so far, it's led to one chest. Nice dodge. Goodbye, random floating head. Nice crit for, like, no damage. Love it. And goodbye. So this should be a guaranteed level. It should be, like, 200 XP. Yeah. So hopefully with that extra health, she'll survive a boss battle. Question mark, maybe. She's got an okay amount of MP, so I could magic carrot mid-boss battle if I need to later. I'm gonna be very careful not to fall down the pit yet. Another spell I'm gonna use. I don't actually want to learn any more spells. Okay, so we have one more statue here. So if there's another statue, I have no idea where it is. Because I found three of them. I would think there would be four. Will this put me at the bottom or the top? It'll put me at the bottom because I was last there. Okay, that makes sense. So let's continue this way because we didn't go this way before. There's a button here. Interesting. So at this point, there is no purpose to fighting because it just takes too many fights to level. So I'm going to be avoiding it most of the time. So there's more chests here. Eelberry. 
That's a carrot. Is this where I drop down? Because I definitely don't want to drop down. Yeah, we're gonna avoid we're gonna ignore that. Because I remember that from last time. We know that'll just put me in the upper right, which is not useful to me at the moment. Preemptive strike. I guess in theory I should just take the preemptive strikes. This is just mostly paying for arms, I guess. So it's like I took a double doll encounter, but at least there's some money behind it this time. Yeah, I feel Hunter doesn't really need to get speed up either because of the fact that he got Accelerator. So for me, I don't feel like an I don't feel like an urge to ever give him agility up. On top of him already being fast in general. Okay, so let's go this way. Go down the stairs. Where do these take us? The last statue. Okay, then that makes sense because I've had a feeling there'd be at least four. I just gotta remember how to go back to the area we were just at. I think that was the far right. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, these guys are easy enough. I'll, I'll get the kill here. <laughs> the other party members need to gradually catch up to Cowboy, I suppose. If she double crit and killed him, that would have been pretty funny for me. It just seems so unlikely, but it is funny. Okay. So I think what I'm going to have to do is in a little bit, I'm going to have to take a small break and then we'll continue with Wild Arms. I was thinking that I'd have to pause right now before we continued, but it looks like uh, something got delayed. So we're not going to worry about that right this minute. So do apologize if we happen to be like mid boss battle. out of here so yeah i definitely want to complete the dungeon for sure so no matter what we're doing we're going to try to complete it because normally i was going to pause right here because i was thinking that uh food would be ready by 12 10 but it looks like there was a delay on it so this this would have been literally the perfect time to stop <laughs> and then we would have continued after food arrived so uh do apologize if there's an awkward cut later but anyway let's proceed i think I think this way. I still haven't figured out how to get through there, but I'm assuming that if I go through the roundabout way through the night statues, I get there. Hopefully I didn't miss like a door opening up because all the statues were there. I'm assuming because all four statues have now been moved, what I can end up doing is taking that one route that was this way to get through here. I am surprised that did not damage me, but I'm not going to complain. We'll take generous hurt boxes. <laughs> I'm going to avoid those. Ooh, please don't make me fight this. Good. How's our money looking? Barely 5,000. Man, this area is so cheap with money. Meanwhile, the outside is like 1,400 money. That's totally fair. I think the door I'm looking for was up here. So I'm assuming because I moved all four statues, I should have a straightaway to continue. And hopefully, this will also lead us to those other chests. If not, we'll revisit the dungeon. Like, I'll teleport out and just check the middle after all the statues have been moved. But I'm assuming this will eventually link up with what we saw earlier. Oh no. We've been amped. Wow, that only did 50 damage. What a weak enemy. Chat, why is this why is this area easier than the other one? But this area was after the other one. Did they flip the enemy stats by accident? Okay. Hmm, so I never discovered how to reach those other chests. I'm just gonna quickly heal this way. It's time to take this. Looks like a flower. Crystalline mist covers it. 
Crystal Bud acquired. Whole temple is shaking. It's starting to crumble. Oh, what? Seriously? Not even a boss battle. Well, that really sucks. I might have to reset just to go see what those items are. That's arbitrary and annoying. I mean, I remember how to get out of here. It's just I wanted to check what the other item was. It was this way. <laughs> I know, it's like, whatever. Like, I will reload the save. I just want to know what it is. If it's just like healing items, I'm not going to bother redoing the segment again. I just wanted to know. Right? Like, I never even saw how to even get here. How irritating. Random encounters, please. I mean, I'm gonna go check the middle room out. Maybe it, now the door is open and it is a time limit thing. I'm gonna make sure... Okay. Let's see if there's now a path. Well, I guess I'm going. I don't remember if it was cracked before we did this, but I'm gonna go for it. So I would have lost a spell, so that's kind of important. That's kind of important that we grab that. That would have been really bad for later in the game to be just down spell slots. I think we could all agree. So what else is in the other area? Two spells I would have lost. So what's down here? I'm gonna go up the stairs first. Good call. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what just, did, surprise! <laughs> what? <laughs> did I have to go this way and I just accidentally made progress? This seems kind of random. Well, I'm fighting chaos, I guess. Welcome, Kirk. We said chaos, Kirk appeared. Optional boss, apparently. Let's say the boss is wide open. Please don't steal nothing. Please actually have something on you. Wow. Okay, trickster kind of lame. Purple electric. How much does this do? 262 is not that much damage. Anyway, we're gonna shoot Chaos in the face. Chaos knows what it did, chat. Yeah, don't mind me. Just doing a last second mini boss. Um, Let's make Cowboy Angie. How much does this do to her? 200 is not that much. Honestly, this is less than some of the stuff in the overworld. So I'm really not impressed by this boss so far. Angie time, chat. All abilities raised by 10%. Nice. Hmm. Although, maybe that stops him from being able to use special skills. Oh, it does stop him from using special skills. Okay, so that's actually kind of a problem. Um. Oh, that's gonna make actually. That actually makes this lower damage. Uh. I guess I can rob them? That's unfortunate. Wait, did he just heal himself? Yeah, hand cannon is really strong. Although I might have disabled it, which is fine. I don't think this boss is that hard. Ooh, Rob did no damage. Silence only matters on the girl. I don't think it matters for any other character. <laughs> it just silenced every other character. Doesn't matter. Nice crit. Rob did do 69 damage. Um, I guess I could try to amp to see if this does any damage if you're weak to lightning. And again, our damage is okay. So 
So again, the character that could have learned Cure Sleep is literally useless here. Let's speed up a normal strike. Which I'm not that worried. Most of our characters are almost at full health anyway. And if Sleep counters Berserk, then I'm completely okay with this, to be honest. Oh, nope, he's still Berserked. And we're doing okay damage a turn. It would have been better had I not done the other thing, but that's fine. The crit, though. So I'm glad we got defense down. That saved us a little bit of time. So I guess going forward, I just Berserk Hunter, maybe, because I don't really care about his skills that much. They silence the girl, which is a bit annoying. I hope she wakes up at some point, dot dot dot. Okay, she conditioned green, so she's cured now. Which again, doesn't mean that the status was cured. It's more that because I didn't max out the arm gauge, she's able to get out of it. Just for clarity. Did she get frozen in time? No, not quite. Get summon the guardian just to do something. Total power chat. We haven't seen it before. It's probably gonna do like 40 damage. The Guardians kind of suck. Oh, that actually did real damage. Okay. I'll take that back. That was okay. Yeah, I'm glad the timer doesn't tick down in battles. I know some games do that. That's kind of annoying. So she can keep summoning the Guardian if I need to. I might as well as. Just get more damage. So yeah, Cowboy's Guardian did like literally nothing. Like it, it did like three times less than a normal attack. It was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, they're getting Cowabunga good right now. So I feel like we're not too far from killing this enemy. Question is more... I think I'll heal Hunter just in case. So in case the boss decides to do something crazy, that should be fine. Because the boss does about 230 in melee damage. So now everybody's asleep. So I can't do anything. It's Cowboy, all he could do is auto attack. Oh, he's regenerating health constantly while berserked. Oh, that actually does kind of make him unkillable. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's summon Guardian. Please don't hit Hunter again. Oh, hit girl, that's fine. We, we summon the centaur chat. How much does this do? It's <laughs> smart to make us sleep as it does it. That did an insane amount of damage. Wait a minute. Wait, this one's actually good? Okay. The more you learn. Hellboy is literally useless. This one doing 10 times the amount of damage. I'll take that. Yeah, that fight was easy. Half my party was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> the whole encounter or more two-thirds in fact most of the time we're sleeping he's the optional boss fight cleaned it up chat cowboy leveled hunter leveled 1500 money death it isn't the end but a new beginning our civilization bound by chaos has turned your world into a temple of death Ooh, temple of death sounds fun where nothing survives innocent one Release me from this land and use my powers to revive the dying land of Filgaia. Death rune acquired. I love we just kind of went here. Couple occasional heals. Glad the timer pauses while we're in the menu as well. How's the death rune looking? Ooh, look at that damage increase for her. Ooh, 17 sorcery. She scales really hard off of sorcery stats, so I will gladly take that. Well, anyway, we just casually just went here. I suppose I should now actually leave. Bonk. Well, two spell glyphs and a big damage boost I think was absolutely worth the detour. I don't recall if the wall was cracked or not, but we got here regardless. We did it for dramatic purposes. 
So sadly, I'm going to have to go to the right and then back because we got to reset the push puzzle thing. We'll take the extra money. Don't mind me, just gonna reset the room real quick. It's a nice little optional boss, I suppose. I didn't get to use my gun as much as I wanted to, but we did learn that Berserk makes you auto heal. So arguably I could just leave it on Hunter since he's just auto-attacking most of the time anyway. Because Cowboy healing 80 health a turn basically made him immortal. <laughs> if he's not targeted every turn, he generally just heals like 80% of the damage taken if he gets hit like every two or three turns. So Cowboy is literally untouchable in that boss battle. Everybody else is pretty far from leveling. Cowboy whopping level 17, which is hilarious. I don't know what stat is used by the gun. I think that was a little unclear to me, whether it's response or not. He technically has something to increase his speed, in case that is what it determines its damage. So I guess we will take a small break once we clean this plop element up. And then we'll continue after the break. So sadly did not get to use my gun as much as I was hoping. Also, I should have I should have checked to see if Eek worked. <laughs> it would have been funny if I could have just Eeked at any time. I was assuming because it was like a countdown timer, it wouldn't let me, but I should have checked. Well, anyway, I guess I don't feel like going back and checking to see whether that wall was breakable. I'm happy with how it turned out. Alright, so let's go back to the bar. I'm not going to bother getting any new spells. You have the crystal bud? I need it real bad. I can't explain right now. Will you sell for 5,000? Sure. Crystal bud is a token of engagement in these parts. A fish out of water when it comes to these things. It's nice to meet, meet you. I'm Captain Bartholomew. Hey, Bartholomew. Short as usual, eh? That's a crystal bud. When did you... Good timing, Drake. Care to smell my crystal bud? Um... What? Why would... What? Don't get me wrong, Barthy. But even if you have the crystal bud, you still need a mate. Who do you think you're gonna find someone to marry your ugly mug? That sound effect, though. Are you blind? She's standing right next to me. You dumb baboon. Oh, her? Didn't notice. She looks way older than your preferred age group. Oh, ooh, creepy? Question mark? Of course, her. Sorry she's above your normal standards. I mean, having two legs and all. We're getting married soon. Good, we'll hold the wedding tomorrow then, okay? Okay, there you have it. Look forward to tomorrow's festivities. What? I did it again. Me and my big mouth. Ha! Uh. What in the world are you going to do now, old boy? Excuse me, but we're on our way to... We must go through with it, the wedding. Uh, no, we don't have to go through with anything. Right, chat? Draw weapons, time to murder Bartholomew. I must deceive them or else I'll be left out of town. Uh, no. No, you don't mean... You shouldn't lie, you know. I, I can't... It's too late. You're in this till the end. What the... What? Didn't he have someone he wanted to marry in the Northwest? Is he forgetting the person he wanted to talk to? Either way, they'll think you were in on my scheme. She'll give you the tour of my ship, Sweet Candy. Must plan for tomorrow. There we go. Fade to black. So, we're finally on my sh ship, Sweet Candy. There are many special rules the sailors of the Inner Sea must follow. One rule is for the groom to provide a place for the ceremony to occur. Don't look at me, I feel guilty too. Well, the fake wedding is tomorrow, regardless. You guys read up on my customs by tomorrow, okay? Oh no. Are we having a wedding minigame? 
I don't like this. We're here to look for the statue, not to get mixed up in all this. Give it up, princess. Because of this, we're able to get on board the ship. It's the only way to get to the statue. I think you're having too much fun. Oh, that's right. I think we have to go to the ship graveyard at some point. They did mention that before. The wedding is tomorrow. Shouldn't you be reading up on the rules or something? Well, I guess we should. So we can't use a suspicious name for a vehicle. Especially with the dig about being the wrong age group. <laughs> Just like, um... Well, let's save, because I don't think I need anything back in the town. So, Curiosity, what does the change do, if anything, now that all the party is together? And then I'll need to take a small break in a moment. Oh, it just, this is all it does, because we're in part of the same crew. Winning is tomorrow. You need to conserve your energy. Would you like to rest? No. Alright, so we don't know what the rules are to the wedding. Since apparently it's going to be a weird minigame thing. Mm, I feel sick. In the ocean, the ocean guardian. Lucadia got angry. Oh, okay. Sailor's life involves sleeping, eating, and working with other men. That's why we all have special ceremonies led by women. Okay. Can you get out of the way? Jesus. He's, he's actually trolling. Can you not be there? Can you just move over? Can you... You go left so I can check the barrels. You've gotta be kidding me. Hate this guy. Thank you. There's nothing here. What a waste of time. <laughs> Rob saying it's a sailor is sleeping with other men. I mean, it kind of comes off that way. Don't worry about it. Drake knows the marriage is a fake. Okay, we have more of the ship to explore. Hmm. So far, no items on a ship, which is kind of disappointing. We sailors use the stars to navigate the ocean. The old moon not only tells us our location, but also tells us the weather. It's an important marker for sailors to remember. Hmm. No wedding. The bride and groom are called towards the minister. Okay. So I'm assuming it'll be kind of like that one Final Fantasy VII minigame where I have to like do some kind of weird button input ceremony thing. And then I'll get rewarded based off of how well I follow their arbitrary rules. I'm assuming that's what we're about to come into. But I can't find the rules. A fake wedding. But that's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. A new moon is too unpredictable to use as a navigational aid. Okay. I still don't know what the rules are to this wedding. I mean, I can always reset and try again. The more expensive the jewel is, the better the future it brings. The water lily flower is the ultimate jewel. Did we get anything else of interest? Not really. Hmm. Tom the repairman says, The captain's fiancé's name is Olivia Clare. Who is this woman? Okay. I don't think there's anything else I could do here. Let's go up top, I guess. Wow, the ship has literally nothing to steal. This is so sad. This is the worst cargo ship of all time, Chad. There's not even cargo to steal. The statue of a monster in the cargo hold. The skipper got it as a fee for passage from a merchant. I'm not sure it has any value. That's the statue we're talking about. Wow, the ship sucks, Chad. Just between you and me, the skipper only likes 18-year-old women. Uh, okay. A marriage is unwanted, then tradition dictates the one holds the ceremonial cup in the left hand. Don't worry, this marriage is supposed to be fake. I want everyone to believe it is a wanted marriage. Okay, so here's what I learned. I don't know... Okay, so cup in right hand. Minister makes us approach together? Are those the rules that we're learning? I was not to the original version, no way. Yeah, I have a feeling it was probably altered because of uh, connotations, I'm sure. Especially with the ship being called Sweet Candy. <clears throat> I, I don't have faith, chat. <laughs> it wasn't something horrible. So I believe I do need to take a small break here. But I didn't learn what the rules of the marriage were, unless those were the only rules. So let's save here.
I'll take a very brief break to go pick up food. And then when I return, we'll uh, figure out what the deal is with the ship. So in the meantime, enjoy the music. Be right back.
Okay, everybody, I'm back. Let's go back into the game. Thank you for the welcome back, Rob. Well, I didn't really learn a lot about the rules. I I'm assuming some of their conversation might come up. Well, I hope we got enough information, I guess. Let's rest. The busy day begins. Yeah, there's talk of like the old moon and the new moon. We got the ship name. We know about the crystal. We're gathering here under the eyes of the guardians. I think it was the bride that walks forward. Bride, what is your name? Okay, they the engineering guy said Olivia Claire, so I have to say that. Who is the man you're giving love to? Bart to me? <laughs> no, it's Bartholomew. What is the name of the ship that will be your second home? <laughs> crackpot? What? <laughs> I mean, it's not Crackpot. We do sweet candy. What will guide you through the maze of life? Well, they said the new moon was inconsistent, so I'm assuming the answer is the old moon. Then hold up the glass and continue. They said left hand if it was unwanted, so we're going to do the opposite of that, and that was the right hand. I guess I technically learned the rules. The jewel of the future is the crystal bud. What number are we? What number are we? Wait, what? Did they say a number at some point? Did I miss dialogue chat? <laughs> well, time to believe in the 50-50 chat. I have no idea. I, if someone told me this, I don't remember. I'm gonna guess eighth. For the happiness of today, praise the name of the Sea Guardian. Well, we know it was Lucadia because the seasick guy said it. I completely guessed chat, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't remember if somebody did it. I'm too embarrassed to kiss. Yeah, we're gonna say go for it. No, girl. I'm very particular. Stop right there. Ha ha ha. I have it this time. My name is Zed. I will hack this statue into pieces with my blade. The statue of the seal. Is he one of the demons? I'm feeling great today. And so does my blade. <laughs> Why do you make a sprawling noise? He's lively, all right. No, he's just dumb. You so-called warriors will die before your sacred statue. Okay. Apparently Zed gets his own theme. Come now, it's my debut. I'm still silenced from earlier, seriously? Or are they just doing the commands? I hope it's just the commands. I forgot if they had the dot dot dot. I hope they're not silenced. Okay, I don't appear to be silenced. Good. We're gonna do a normal shot. Then I'm going to... Oh no, I am silenced. That is so irritating, chat. I went to sleep. I, I don't like in this game that sleeping at the end does not cure status ailments. That will never not bother me. I don't like that as a change. So I can't cast any spells because she's still muted. So this really sucks. Well, I guess I'm doing this without spells. That did a lot of damage. I am really hoping this gets cured at some point, because this is actually very irritating that I'm doing this battle with no spells. Oops. Get back up here for now. Do I even have anything that cures silence? I didn't think I did. Oh, I do. I have the Violet Rose. Okay, let's use it on her. So that we can actually do something. It's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, I would have just used this before combat if I had realized I was still silenced. Kind of what I'm talking about. I'm not a fan of the status ailments in this game. Alright, so he's gonna die if I don't heal him. 
So I think he still needs to shoot. I'm gonna have my fastest character go for the heal. I'm gonna go for defense down here. Please. Oh, why are they only focusing the one character? Oh, he didn't die though. That's good. It failed. Wow, thanks game. I could do lock on. Can you please stop failing your magic? Like, I just want chat to realize, like, I'm still silenced, like, five, six turns into this, like, between the previous combat and this combat, I'm still silenced. There we go, this time it worked. So he should hopefully blow him away in a couple more shots. Still silenced. Well, at least we have these. Uh, I think... Since the other guy is silenced, why don't I just make him angry? At least I'll one-shot the girl. Okay, good. Since he's auto-attacking anyway, I guess there's no downside. It'll make sure he attacks faster and for more, which could be good. I do lose his, uh, force technique stuff, which is kind of annoying, but... I think this might be better for us overall. Let me go ahead and use a Mystic on a regular heal, just to get everybody topped up. That did a lot of damage to her, which is not good. Did put Cowboy out of kill range, though. I'm gonna hope she can fringe herself, or she's probably just gonna die here. Please don't target her. Of course. <laughs> right, chat? Of course. Start the battle silenced, and she gets targeted super hardcore. Well, she's gonna keep falling behind. Dying cures her silence. She she is the only one not silenced. <laughs> hey, this isn't fair. It's three on one. Well, next time it will be one on one. Got XP. She received none. Rolling my eyes, chat. You may have won this time. Next time it won't be so easy. I'm glad we fought well against that fool. We saved the statue. Oh no, here too! Oh now? Now their silence is cured? Thanks game, that's not useful now. I needed that before. Annoying. Well, I'm gonna top off my HP. She will remain under level pretty much. So everybody's panicking and blocking my path. Be another one of Bartholomew's bluffs. I'll have none of it. The wedding is ruined. Can you guys get out of my way, please? So, I have to work after all. That fool was a decoy. Jeez. So, you're an expert with fast draw, huh? Looks more like a fat draw than a fast draw. Oh damn, chat, we got burned. You don't deserve to die by my hands. Even if the seal is broken, my wishes will be carried out by the innocent one. Take my power and let the battle begin. I am Nua Shox and I will fight by your side. Thunder Rune acquired. The last of the seals has been broken. We cannot stop the resurrection of the mother. The teardrop my mother gave me is going to be used to destroy the world. No, I can't let that happen. It's my duty to reclaim the teardrop. Lady Harkin, does she also use the fast draw? K. 
Okay. Is the Thunder Rune any good? Response time way up. Maybe this will make him more useful. Because he is just so slow that he just literally can never attack before the enemy. Okay, so now his speed is faster than the girls. Okay. I guess that kind of pays off. Captain is waiting. I guess I'll save. So yeah. Probably next boss battle. I'll start using it. I had a feeling that fight probably wasn't going to give XP because it seemed kind of goofy. It's the only reason I didn't pop the item in the other encounter. So anyway, well, we're doing an excellent job at protecting things. Hmm. So I wonder what the point was doing for the marriage. What that would have given us. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, did would we have gotten like something special? Because it felt like we got everything right. Oh well. Make a note of this for now. Oh well. So so far I don't feel like we've collected a reward for it. Not good for his heart, yada yada. Don't really care what he has to say. Drake ran away. Oops. Secret scene with Bartholomew? Hopefully not. Greetings, my friends. I must apologize. Somehow the wedding was called off, but we're still able to fake it all. Heard you guys were looking for a statue. This isn't a statue, but take it as a token of my appreciation. 5,000 money acquired, Mega Berry acquired, Lucky Card acquired, Full Revive acquired. Tool wand acquired. Okay, so that, that to me sounds like we did well. The magic wand is a very interesting item. In an animal's head with it, you'll be able to understand what they're saying. Now I'm just picturing our character like just wailing at an animal with the stupid wand. <laughs> so does that mean if I had done this in a different order, I could have talked to the dog and made the dog get out of the way before? I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Oops. I guess I got punished for going in order. Yeah, we're just bonking them repeatedly. Ready for departure at the docks. Leave for Port Timney at any time now. Are you ready? I'm gonna say no. Right, so we got quite a few items there. Mega Berry's 2000 HP. Let's sort our inventory so it's a little more manageable. Um... Got the magic map, got the full revive. Hmm. We got yet another lucky card. Five spells we could learn. But as I said before, I, I don't think I want any of the white magic spells from earlier. So I'm hoping when we get an upgrade soonish, we should be good to go. Out of curiosity, how far behind is she level wise? Wow, so she's almost two levels under Hunter. And then Cowboy will almost be three levels in front of her. That's kind of funny. So let's see if there's anything else to do on the ship. And then we'll proceed with the plot. So I think what we'll do, we'll at least do, presumably, if we're going back to the ship graveyard. Which I think, ironically, is not an actual graveyard, but a town. Then I think we'll stop at that point. But for now, I'm fine with going forward. I really don't recall who said the eighth. Maybe I'll go back. Maybe it's just something I forgot. I'm pretty sure I just guessed that correctly. Everything else, I think the random NPCs mentioned. So I guess we learn the rules indirectly. Skipper's a generous person. Even though this is a fake marriage, it's still a matter of pride. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so sorry the writing was ruined. Don't really care about that. Hmm. Hi. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to do. So now they are unfortunately cured of their status ailments a little too late. Hmm. I think we talked to all these people. Let me just go back.
So let's proceed. And away we go, Chad. Hmm. So we also got a wand. It even makes a goofy sound when you use it. Hmm. Are there any animals we're talking to? There were a lot in the other towns. I don't think there were any here. Apparently, the, the, see how yeah, that girl said she, she would have married him for real. So I didn't misremember that from earlier. So we don't have anything to worry about with this. Do I buy new items? I don't think I do. I think we're good. I'm gonna restore bullets. Bonk. So we have a lot of cash that I don't really need. Oh, I went to leave and we got pulled into a cutscene. What we were afraid of has just become a reality. The Queen Mother, Lord of the Demons, has risen from her deep sleep. The seal no longer holds back the ripples of darkness from spreading. This will be the last transmission of my thoughts. Warrior is an innocent one. Go to the source of the ripples of darkness. The final battleground is the snow-covered demon castle in the far northern plains. The voice is thinning. The waking of mother is overcoming the guardian's powers. Northern edge of Felgaia. Did he say the snowy plains? That's it. The demons are living in Arctica. My vengeance is about to be fulfilled. Let's look for a way to go to the north. Hunter? I can see. What a wonderful wasteland. Where life is in its last whisper. The vision on our eyes. All the bloodshed, all the tragedies, not a nightmare, but a beautiful reality. Mother's real stable. The teardrop was potent. How ironic that the life force of Filgaia gives life to its destroyer. There we go, mother's hatching. <laughs> my little Zeke and all my children, thank you for awakening me from the eternal stillness. We, the Quarter Knights, have waited long for your awakening. You can relax now, my children. I am here. We shall bring humbleness to this place called Ilgaia. Life will end. And we will prosper. Destruction to all life. Did Mother kind of look like chaos? She kind of does. Beauty lies in complete destruction. <laughs> Is that when we get to rule the world? Rule? Order? What do those things have to do with me? Gaia will end up just like the other worlds I've been to. The flame of life is the most is at its most beautiful, at its scattering end. The end of a planet is the ultimate beauty supplied by the universe. You're saying we're not fighting to win a second home here on Filgaia? Then to win back our lost home? Hades was only my last stop. You were only newborns at the time. I saw the magnificent fall of that planet with my own eyes. So, what do we do after we destroy Field Gaia? Do not worry, my child. I shall complete the beauty myself by devouring all that is left here. You will be burned in the eternal flames of your own mother's appetite. No other heaven exists in the universe. 
Well, that didn't take long for the betrayal. Well, sucks to be them, I guess. <clears throat> Alright. So, given that I have nowhere else to go... Presumably, I have to use the duplicator? Chat saying, damn, I thought for sure that reviving the Dark God would be a good idea in this game. I know, Chad. Who would have seen it coming? Mother's hungry, Chad. Feed mother. Obviously, we're meant to get her power for ourselves. Maybe. Are you really going to make me use both duplicators? Wow. Well, so much for getting more of these, I guess. Right, chat? That sucks. Was there another somewhere? Hmm. That is so unfortunate. Huh. Did I miss, like, an optional one somewhere? It feels weird that I have to use both of these already. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, because I feel like we only just recently got it. I'm just deciding if it's worth going back or not. I must have missed something somewhere. Hmm. Where would I go, though, is the question I'm asking myself. Because we went to the port. We got a key there. Hmm. I mean, unfortunately, I think I gotta use it here. I can't think of anywhere where I, I could have used it. So that really sucks I just used it. I was like going through my head today, like we got one key from each place, so I don't think I missed one from there. So I have to get another duplicator at some point. Hmm. Did you get the magic map from the mountain pass? I love the game just giving me hints. So let's explore, because I don't know quite where to go. Oh, unless we're at the previous place. Oh, okay, we just went back a couple places. So this was prior to us getting whisked away to the trial temple place. Interesting. Well, we should be strong enough that we basically kill them. Let's see, was there something to do in Malama? Maybe? I think there was that house guarded by the dog, right? Was it this town? It might have been this town. Like in the bottom right, I think. I remember there was one place where the guard dog wouldn't let us go past. I think it was this town. And I don't think it was this session that we saw it. Yeah, here we go. I'm a dog and I don't have any friends. I feel a little happier now that you've spoken to me. There we go. Cool radar acquired. Radar is a device that looks for items and gala around cowboy. When it detects something, the designated spot will blink for a few seconds. Oh.
So I guess I could see if I missed items, question mark? But I'm pretty sure I got everything already. I could just use it occasionally. Radar acquired, I guess. So presumably I gotta go to the Sand River or whatever else they just mentioned. Oh well. We'll move on for now. It says Sand River, but that suspiciously looks like mountains, so I'm a little confused. There's a monkey here. Bonk. Hey, human that speaks my tongue, come with me, I'll show you the way. Uh, you didn't really show me the way, I still had to guess where you're going. Well. Bonk. This cave is a river of sand, trick is not to fight the flow, but don't get lost. Wait a second, this is a jail, pretty much. So it should be a max MP, max everything, more or less. Already Apple acquired. Let's just keep giving that to the girl, because she's so underleveled at this point. Or she might be the actual level the game wants us to be, and everybody else is just overleveled. I don't like that everything is kind of dark, though. Oh, just toadstools? Whatever. I mean, at least our overall damage is much higher due to leveling. So I don't think I need a crit, for example, for this to kill anymore. Yeah, definitely not. So she is hilariously not close to leveling, if I remember correctly. Yeah, she needs at least five more battles to level. That alerted me of an item. This leads us to a power apple, which I'm probably going to give to Hunter. Hmm. So there's a door here. Is there anything else worth exploring? Hello, tortoises. I mean, now that the boy is moving faster, maybe the gun upgrades matter? I mean, I gave it one accuracy buff and a damage buff, so it's not like I'm using the base gun. Oh, it ran before I could kill it. That's sad. So at least now it has some purpose, as long as I give his response time up. Nice counterattack. I'm imagining the bone we picked up is either like a joke item, or we have to use it with the mystic ability for it to be useful. So I'll hold on to it for a while, it could be useful later. Nice crit. Now with even more damage. Thanks, Power Apple. 300 XP, 1000 money. 1000 money's good. So that, that battle was worth fighting, I think, XP money-wise. Not that hard. This looks like the end of a path. Okay. So let's go back the way we came, I guess. Uh, it's time to Kirk plus plus them. I had enough. Good damage. This should be GG. Oh, we went first. Nice. Maybe the extra power and accuracy matter here? Oh, it's over. They're gonna get kirked. Goodbye. Multi-kill. So we basically just paid for another arm upgrade. Yeah, they got kirked super bad. So we avoided taking damage there, which is nice. 
I guess with nothing else to do, I'll just proceed this way. Move this out of the way so I can see chat easier. Much better. That is a lot of enemies. I think I'm gonna multi-target this and see how it goes. I'll do just a regular Kirk. I think a regular Kirk will teach him. Save me some MP. I might even die to the prism right here. Which I guess I could have purchased one more damage increase. Oh, they're, they're super dead. So yeah, so prism gun is doing quite a lot of damage now. Nice. That's a, that's a decent amount of XP actually, 320. For an easy battle. Not too bad. There seems to be a broken path there. Don't know if I want to jump down there yet. Looks like I shouldn't. Power Apple acquired. Well, I'm just going to keep giving it to Hunter. Since I'm not even sure Cowboy uses anything other than response. Party Apple, we'll give it to the girl. I mean, she's not getting quite one shot, so that's always good news. So let's presumably just jump down here and we should be good. Oh. Wait, what? Huh. There's nowhere else to go. I thought this would be progress. Ooh. Cave Taurus. What a name. So let's go ahead and probably just shoot you in the brains. We're gonna kill you. And we're gonna use... Let's mix that up a little. Let's... Let's... They're not grouped, so I can't amp them. Let's... Baldy, one of them. Hmm. So I'll just do normal attacks. Yeah, what I don't like is that this area is very dark, so I feel like it's very easy for me to miss something in here. From the standpoint of both treasure chests and everything else. For a level, nice. So I'm worried there's like, oh, you missed like a crack wall or something. Like, gotcha. We made it purposely really annoying to see in here. So maybe I have to jump down there. So before I do that... Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, this is what I'm talking about, Chad. I was like, I wasn't feeling like I didn't miss something. Let's go through here. Orb of power. What does that do? Increases max HP by 25%. Hmm. I could give it to Cowboy. Give him some raw HP. Maybe that's worth it. I don't think it's worth it on Jack yet. It doesn't make Cowboy basically unkillable. Hmm. Like, can I can I fall down here? No. I feel like it wants me to drop down here, but I can't get it to do it. I'll try the broken bridge one more time. See, I think with the Thunder Rune, Cowboy can actually use his other ability, which is not bad. So I'm hoping the increased accuracy means I don't miss most of the time. I got counterattacked. How annoying. So, so far, skipping armor has not punished me. I don't feel like I'm taking that much damage. Like a normal enemy doing an eighth of my health, I don't think matters at all. Hunter's level. Let's teach them about fringing. Actually, I'm not even that injured. Uh... Oh, you have to hold it. Oh. Well, that's just rude. I was thinking, like, I was hitting the confirm, and I'm like, 
What do I need to do? I'm not getting a prompt. Well, thanks, game. <laughs> right, chat? Let's just like... Because it wasn't doing anything when I touched it. I have to I have to keep holding it for quite a while. Oh, well, we'll do the same thing, but be on the right side this time. Now I should be with the flow. Now I should be in a new area. We're just checking over here. So this is just over here. Another lucky card? Wow. All okay, right, we really need to start using these on bosses. We went from like one a session ago to four. Oh, I heard a ding. Hmm. Welcome, Cryo. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna drop Regula. I'm not sure what that means. Let's go ahead and, I guess, Prism Ray these. Uh... Guess I could burn them. Rip these enemies. We'll have to name a spell after Cryo. I think I just auto attack here and win. Hopefully, you've been doing well, Cryo. Trying out some wild arms. We're in a very dark cave, which I feel sad I can't light it up more. I guess that's it. More money for later. Party apple acquired. I definitely want to use that on the girl. <laughs> she will be the tankiest mage. Not too bad. That's good to hear. Does the door there? Is there a chest here? Nope. There's the the save point that tells me danger is ahead. So let's go ahead and receive here. You'll be unemployed after Friday. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully you have something lined up for you in the near future. So many random enemies, please, game. Ah, uh, this might be worth fighting. Let's, uh... Save our bullets, I think. We'll do Trickster, because I haven't tried stealing from them yet. Let's try to Kirk them. Oh, because of a family issue? Sorry to hear that, Cryo. Our reward was a heal berry. That was not worth it. It's not as bad as it sounds. It's good news. I do wish you the best, Cryo. That did insane damage. Holy, that deleted them. Cowboy is leveled. <laughs> Our most level party member chat has leveled even more. I like <laughs> I like that he's almost double HP over the, the mage character due to his setup. That's kind of funny to me. Yes, okay, so we did all this to go down some stairs. Hmm. This feels too much like progress. Let's go backwards. Yeah, this feels like too much progress. We gotta go this way. There we go. There's writing on it, but you can't make it out. Well, let's light up the area. Some sort of writing becomes visible in the flame. Have a safe drive, Cryo. In battle, the most important thing you have is your mind. So this seemed like a very missable technique, by the way, Chad. If I didn't go back to this, I'm pretty sure we just wouldn't have it. Keep a stable mind, relax your breathing, and her body will do the rest. Hunter says, basically, it means to calm down. I'll try, but 
Astral Hint acquired. I'm assuming we learned how to meditate. Hint from the monument. So it's probably gonna heal us or stap up us. Go this way. Wow, and then it boots us all the way out back here. That is so rude. Just so rude, chat. Yeah, we got booted all the way to the beginning of the cave. I'll just auto attack. This is fine. I don't need to waste MP. If they don't have disease, I don't think it matters. That's like one of the big status. Paralysis was pretty annoying. Disease, sleep. So far, those are my big three where I, I really don't like them. Everything else is fairly tame in comparison. We're sitting at a whopping 22,000 money. So that means I could upgrade the prism gun or I could upgrade our current boss killer to be stronger. It'd be worth upgrading the prism gun just to have like a couple more bullets, but I think its power so far is fine. It only getting five attack power every upgrade makes me not want to level it as much. Actually, I'm just curious, if he does this attack, I use Amp. Is Amp good enough to kill the Toadstools? Yeah, the only thing I might want to touch on the Prism Gun is its accuracy. Maybe one power up if I've got a lot of spare money. Oh, they absorb the Thunder? I would not have called that, but okay. The more you know, apparently, chat. That's unfortunate. I think that's the first time we've seen an enemy actually get healed by our spells. As I felt bad for not using Parameter spell, but apparently, get trolled hard. Would not have thought plants absorb lightning, but that's fine. The more we learn, I guess. 2400, that's a lot of cash. Gotta go up first. I like that I could try running, but it just won't let me do anything. Rip us, I guess. Uh, it's. Probably still worth killing these things if I can. Are they weak to Earth? If they absorb lightning? Just trying to think opposites here. See, I would have thought Earth would have been a bad choice versus the plant, but you know, here we are. Come on, Boldy. Let's see if it works well against Mr. Fungi here. It actually does. Boldy put in the work, Chan. Let it be known. Please counter attack. Nice. Ended the fight with that. One more thing I'll check just so I have an idea of where we are level wise. Not even close. Not even close. And still pretty far. I don't think I'm going to save. I, I have faith if there's a boss, we'll be fine. So all I got to do is make it back down here. So far, most of the bosses have been fairly straightforward. So hopefully we'll come across a new town and then I'll save there. Preemptive strike, nice. Just gonna do normals here. Still have a lot of MP in case the overworld after this point end up difficult.
little bit of bonus damage on this creature. Should be GG. Oh, it attacked before us. I tried. But yeah, Cowboy potentially berserked when out of ammo. Could end up healing a ton of HP if that uh, constant HP regeneration was based off of total hell. There's a chest up here. Use Power Apple on the Hunter. So we did manage to leave the cave without any incidents. Now we're just looking for a town. Where's the ship graveyard? It should be here somewhere. Can't blame those who run away, but sometimes it's important to stick it out. Thanks, motivational signpost, question mark. There's a big desert with nothing to do in it. There's a little shop up there, though. Outside of the desert. Basilis? Oh no, is there the petrify ailment? Oh, we, we gotta end this fight immediately, Chad. I do not want to mess around with this. Uh, I'm just gonna Kirk him. Please don't petrify me. See, this is why we save a little bit of our MP and our resources, just in case stuff like this happens. So yeah, I'll definitely try to raise our accuracy with this gun, because it seems strong enough that it one-shots entire encounters. 500 XP, that's actually pretty good. So yeah, the XP here much better than earlier. Welcome, what can I do for you? Nothing of interest. Alright, so we found Ship Graveyard. Let's get into two more fights. We'll explore the town, and I think we'll stop here for now. I do think the money is actually worth it. This is when I get an idea of what's in the surface area. More of these. I mean, they're still worth fighting. I'm gonna use Sonic, and then we're gonna do Kirk. Next time we're not fighting something called Basilisk, I'm assuming it will learn, like, Meditate or something from the other statue that we saw earlier. Ooh, girl might die here. She lived, good. Yeah, might as well make our MP worth it. Nice kill. Give him the Kirk. Multi-kill. So 500 XP to level means that 2,000 to level is not as horrendous when we're getting like 100 or whatever it was earlier. We'll do one more battle, and then we'll walk to the next area. So that'll put us at about 30,000. So I'm assuming between that and the town, I'll be able to increase the Prism Gun's accuracy, so that way I just never miss with it. And maybe I'll add a bullet to our boss killer thing. Ooh, two Sand Beasts at once. This is actually really good for us. I'm going to use my Super Bullet here. I think I can afford to... Oh, it targets other players. Oh, is it like a healing spell? He has a healing spell, maybe. Huh. Well, time to Kirk him. I mean, I'm gonna take damage no matter what here, so this should be fine. Healing Cowboy was a good choice, I think. 511 HP, that's a lot of health. Did enough to kill the other one. So let's go ahead and use our super bullet here. So that way we could say we used our boss one, our boss slayer on a mini boss. This should be GG. You're about to get shot. With pretty good accuracy, so I should not miss this. 800 experience received, girl is level 28 cash acquired. So this area is so much better for XP. It's so good in fact, I will see if we could get one more of those fights. Like, honestly, that XP was insane. It's almost triple what was in the other dungeon, just for clarity, chat. Like, we we can't say no to that level of XP. So I'll try one more encounter, and then we'll move on. 
If nothing else, this will go towards arms upgrades. Antlion, which we've not fought before. Okay, so it's worth doing it. So let's go ahead and use Trickster. Although, so far, it's not been stealing very much. Um... I think Dave right now is our freeze spell. I could rename that Cryo for Cryo. Oh no, it's fringing! No, chat, the enemy's teaching us about fringing! But joke's on you, you went before us. We got a nothing, thanks game. Well, I shot the Antelion, if nothing else. Ooh, there we go, nice damage. 300 XP, 900 cash. I'm assuming it has something rare, and that's why it's by itself. Unfortunate that we didn't get the drop. I tried. Serenade equipped. That sounds like a helmet. The girl. She gets seven more defense. Look at that chat. So we can radar to see what has things. But that doesn't stop me from just chucking these. Well, I guess now that uh, he's getting faster, maybe it is worth pumping his speed back up again. It seems to be working. This desolate harbor used to be bustling with merchants. It's the town of Yard. Room called to the terrible name, the, sh the Ship Graveyard. So it's telling me there are items near me. That's why the sound effect is going off. Power apple acquired. We're just going to give that to the hunter because it's so good. Okay, so we can upgrade our gun here. Let's increase its accuracy because it costs us like nothing to do it. It's another 4% accuracy because that's mostly what's holding us back at the moment. A thousand to give it five more attack, sure. Two thousand for another two percent. Uh, I just get the normal bullet up another two percent. And one more bullet for our boss gun. Maybe one more bullet for the arms. Yeah, that costs like nothing. So it's already much more accurate. Oh, we'll do that again for sure. Now we have, like, a pretty consistent method with him. I'll do one last upgrade. So we get three more AoE bullets. Our main gun is almost 100% accurate now. So I don't have to worry about using my uh, force on it at all, since 5% is a pretty low chance. And bringing Prism Ray up to 90%, I think is good enough with 20 power. It seemed to be one-shotting. So giving it like five more attack and just more bullets is probably what I need versus raw power. So it doesn't seem like there's items in the crates there. Let's bonk the animals. Bonk. The guardian blade is in the sand. You can't find it. My master told me this tale long ago. During the ancient wars, the final battles were fought around here. This weapon called the Guardian Blade, the mightiest of all weapons. There are several legends around these parts regarding the blade. Okay. We'll have to find that later. There is an item somewhere near us. Maybe we'll rename Dave. Let's rename Dave to Cryo. I think that just fits more thematically. We'll name another spell Dave. Dave will live on in another spell. We get another offense spell for Dave. Hmm. I don't seem to have another one. Hmm. I don't think I really care about imprisoning enemies still. I think everything else I just don't care about. I guess I can make Dave a holy spell. <laughs> Since we don't have that element type. All it did. 
There we go. Dave lives on. If we find an offense spell, we'll call it that. So if we get another single target spell, it'll probably go there. So there's still items somewhere around here. Let's see, anything interesting in the main store? <laughs> Let's love how far behind we are in the armor department. I just don't care. I love it. Her getting 40 more damage might actually be worth it. Yeah, let's do that. that that's a pretty big jump. His damage, I think, is worth taking. And I guess since we have so much money, I also give it to the boy. And then we just don't touch their equipment for a while. Let's sell the other weapons that we just picked up. So I still have a lot potentially for... What's it called? Uh, arms. So I feel pretty good. So our auto attack damage is much better if I want to leave it up to them. Already apple acquired, we'll give it to the girl. <laughs> pretty, dude, this has pretty much been our only source of defense so far, just random accessories and vitality apples. I don't think we've upgraded our armor more than once total in this game so far. It does not seem necessary. Left Anna there at the, the pleasing garden. There was a hotshot dream chaser back then. It's after this sword called the Guardian Blade. Out of lust for the sword, I... I... My wife Anna. As you can see, I can no longer walk. Will you please retrieve my wife's bracelet from the pleasing garden? I want to give my wife a proper burial. Oh, that turned dark real quick. Um, still items here somewhere, huh? Reload ammunition, absolutely. Let's talk to this person. I'm trying to cross the inner sea, but no ships have come in days. Is it the monsters? I guess I'll sleep at the inn real quick, which still only costs 30. So we're not, we're not getting ripped off by the progressively more expensive rests like in some other games. So yeah, now my overall damage should be pretty crazy. I think the girl being able to do 40 more means that I can at least do some damage if she gets berserked or something weird later. Still items around here. Hmm. Okay. See it flashing for some stuff in the corner at least. Heal berry. Another heal berry. I think that's everything. I don't hear anything anymore. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna save. Actually, I wanna do one encounter, then I wanna save. I wanna see what our damage is like if I just auto battle. Now that we've done this. And we'll proceed, I think, next time. Come on. Don't make me get the increased encounter rate. This is like the only area in the game so far I won encounters. Ooh, new enemy. So let's use the hand cannon. Let's trickster you. And let's... Uh... I guess we could Kirk him. We're gonna get our money's worth anyway, I think. We steal an item this time. Horse couldn't steal. Well, if this if spells are based off of weapon damage, we should be seeing a big damage difference. That did a lot of damage. Huh. So it kind of paid for itself. We paid about 4,000 for one weapon. And one combat basically led to a quarter of it being paid. Or... About half of that is needed if you count our previous equipment. Actually, I love the XP so much here. I want one more battle. It's in case we need to do some big purchases later. Perfect. So let's go ahead and shoot them, blow their brains out with this ability. I'm gonna meteor dive. 
Uh, let's amp them. I'm hoping flying birds in a group are meant to be electrocuted. Let's see how it works, though. Meteor dive time. Whoa, 740. Uh, wow, that was a big damage increase for us, chat. So apparently our spells, or not spells, our fast draw ability scales really, really hard off of weapon damage. Hunter is leveled yet again. Like, that was insane, chat. We were only doing like 300 a strike to him normally, so we do almost double damage with Meteor Dive now compared to before. Well, compared to our normal attack before might be a more accurate statement. So that's pretty crazy. So we got some extra money because those people are worth a lot. So if I really feel like we're dying too quickly, I could get armor. But honestly, two characters above 1000 HP, I think we're fine. So at the rate of about 500 XP an encounter, it would take only two more for Cowboy to level again, which is kind of crazy. I don't think we need to power level him anymore. He's already so far ahead, right, chat? <laughs> He's just so far ahead. Let's save. Talk about how we feel the session went. Let's chat. So, uh, well, I'm feeling pretty good about our current gun selection. We have a lot of money left over in case we get another arms. Or if there's another upgrade in a in like another hour or so of gameplay, I feel like I'd be able to afford at least one upgrade for the hunter. I think leveling up their auto attack damage a bit more might be useful in case I want to put them on auto in the upcoming dungeons. We do have the prism gun to kind of deal with groups. If we're in a harder area, otherwise we could just auto attack. And with the accuracy of our guns, for the most part, I don't need lock on anymore. I could pay enough money to make myself never miss with the main gun if I want to, but I think 95% is good enough. 80% accuracy is kind of iffy, if, like iffy in the long term, but 95%, I feel pretty good about that chat. And now keep in mind we have an extra boss bullet, and we now have a gun purely dedicated to non-boss situations with Cowboy. So he's went from I think 8 bullets to either 11 or 12 on that gun, and the damage was doubled from what it was before. So he should be nuking basically most encounters. So I think between having uh, Fringing for healing and also potentially now a healing spell for uh, Hunter, we should be good. I don't see myself struggling at all. Pretty much for the next four or five hours, easy. And we have a ton of healing and status cures until we get upgraded abilities. So hopefully there's about a, a lot more to the game. I'm hoping that once we do this, we're not immediately at the end of the game or I feel kind of sad. Uh, but I think right now I, we have a pretty good momentum. And we seem to be steamrolling most bosses. A little bit unfortunate about the silence not wearing off the entire time I was on that ship. That was pretty rude, Chad. I think we could all agree that it was active that entire time we were going through the town, etc. So I got punished hard for that. But I think otherwise, I think things went well. So with that, I'm going to say, chat, it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch at this point of the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.